I'll show you around. Follow me. Hear that? It's even creaking mysteriously. Wow! What kind of food do they have here? We're not on holiday. <laughs> Barbador Magic Academy is precisely what the name suggests. A school for students seeking to master magic. This exclusive roster comprises the world's foremost magical city. There are so many different shops here. So it's not just an academy then? Yes, sir, look! Huh? Oh. They're selling buckwheat on too! It's no tumble, it's still super yummy! I guess some things will never change, like Lulinae. Hey, you guys! The entrance to the Academy is over here! I know Barnabas is excited, but that seems like a bit much. Let's go! If all you want to do is eat, then we'll leave you here. <sighs> oh yeah, we're still the outcasts here, all right. Yep, and all because we were summoned from another world. Apparently, that makes you the enemy at this school. Well, Kanazuki, got any idea what we should do? <gasps> it's coming! What's coming? And when? Elaborate! This may sound crazy, but I've picked up an extremely nostalgic smell! You couldn't possibly mean... It's Seiichi. Huh? Are you sure? Seiichi, is it possible? Are you already close by? Now, Seiichi... Let's get to it. I will tell you exactly what I request of you. That sounds good. Last time we talked about it, you only told me you wanted me to be a teacher here. Hmm. Children of royalty and nobility from many different nations come to study at this academy. Alongside them, we also have a few special students who are here from another world. Does he mean... Those particular students are enrolled as hero candidates from the Kaiser Empire. But their latent abilities are strong. They've all been ostracized by our current students, and there's no end to their corrents. Really? That's not right. It's a tricky situation. We don't know how the Kaiser Empire would respond should they hear about their students being ill-treated at the Academy. And so it's up to you. Bang, bang, Seiichi! It's all on you now! Your duty is to become the savior who maintains order at this academy! You want me to be whose savior? Mm. <sighs> Water. Seiichi, you are the coolest! You're already dead. <laughs> Would the kids at home even get that? Ask your mother or father, kiddos. So on that note, I'd like you to work with the more talented students we have. The ones who seem capable of matching the hero candidates. I believe in you, Seiichi. I just hope I don't let them down. It's a big job. So, you've told Seiichi his role, but how will the rest of us fit in here? Don't you worry. I've prepared the perfect positions for each one of you in our great academy. First, let's begin with Saria and Lulane. You'll both be enrolling as students. <laughs> Do you like our uniforms? Don't you think we look cute, Master? Yeah, you both look so adorable, I can't think straight! It's the best feeling ever when you compliment me like that. How do I put it? It makes me... The best thing you ever burst out of a You're just bursting out of your uniform, not your body! Now, as for your fate, Artoria... <laughs> You'll be the adventuring instructor who teaches our students how to perfect their abilities! <laughs> Feeling adventurous? Why don't you come with me? Who <laughs> could resist that invitation?! <laughs> I'm not saying anything like that! Next assignment is for Oliga! She'll be Saichi's assistant! Hi, Professor! Let's do some fun experiments! No way! Let's go! doesn't enjoy degrading herself for work either! In blast We salute you, Barna, sir. That's basically it. Just do your best, okay?
Yes, sir! Whatever. If you asked me which you didn't, I'd say let's go to the cafeteria. Where do you put it all, you glutton? What's a glutton? Like gluten? I'm gonna be a teacher, huh? You two cut it out? Just shows you never know what will happen in life. I used to be the one who was bullied. And then I was suddenly transported to this world. Where I had a gorilla challenge me to a fight, then propose to me, and become my bride. I met lots of beautiful women, and before I knew it, I had a perfect life. I fought a dark knight and a dragon. I got welcomed into an eccentric guild. Go muscle! Now, my dirty little darlings. I fought. Are you ready for this? No thanks, I'm good! And fought some more. So much crazy stuff happened. When I get back, I'm gonna have to watch the first season again. But all of that started the first time I ate the fruit. The fruit of evolution. It tasted awful. Now then, Seiji. Huh? I think we should head over to Class F. That's the one you'll be taking over. Any particular reason you picked that one? Well... Let's just say they're quite the collection of problem children. Uh, why would I want that? Might I suggest you use your time? No! Uh. So you finally decided to return, huh, Peeling. Principal? Peeling. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and who are you? Well, hello. It's so lovely to see you, Beatrice. Where have you been? You are the principal. That means you don't get to go about gallivating without letting your staff know where you are. Yeah, give me a sec to think of something. Why don't you think about the mountain of paperwork that's accumulated over your personal holiday? I I understand why you might. Do you have anything useful to say for yourself? I was working on bettering the Academy by research. So your absence was best for the Academy? Yes, in that moment, yes. It's a good thing I've arrived to correct that mistaken belief. If you care about this school, then make this pile of neglect disappear. And no skimming. Make sure you go over every single page before you sign them. Want to bounce a bounce? Boy, 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 boy. Let's get going. Hello. Oh, yes, ma'am. Oh, beautiful mountain. So, um, miss? Yeah. Huh? By the way, my name is Beatrice Rogner. I'm an instructor here, formerly in charge of Class F. I'm sorry for all the chaos you will endure. You're here from Class F? Yes, I've been assigned to help with orientation. The principal felt you would benefit from having an assistant teacher in class to share the workload. Oh, right. Fun. This is your hall right here, Artorio, where you will teach our adventuring class. Lulinae, as a Class A student, you'll be there too. Wait, what? I can't do that! I am a servant with a master! I have no desire to be apart from him for any type of reason! Not even for food? You know, we have one of the best cafeterias. You'll have to pass it on the way to Class A. Cafeterias! She's quick to change gears, huh? Let's all try to make the most of it. Talk to you later, okay? Okay, just don't push yourself too hard. Take care! And the rest of you, come with me. Hmm. This way. Excuse me. Hmm? Am I allowed to ask you a question? Of course. I was just wondering, considering that you used to be in charge of Class F, well, do you think it'll be weird working with me? <laughs> what the? Was that super offensive to ask? Is she gonna treat me like she treated Barna now? I didn't mean it! Oh, I shouldn't have said anything! The thing is, I... I... 
I wasn't a good fit. I couldn't inspire them. They were all talented, but I didn't know how to give them that push. Uh... They're called problem children, but that's not right. They're all wonderful people who just need extra help. I don't care what anyone else says. I have faith in them. That won't change. I know there's amazing talent within each one. Wow, that's so beautiful. If the principal has bothered to acknowledge you, he knows you're gifted. I have no doubt. You've been sent here to lead them down the right path. Oh. I think I get it. I don't know how well I can meet your expectations, but I'm not going to give up trying. No need to worry, Beatrice. You'll see. Seiichi's a very kind person. He'll definitely make a great teacher. Yep. And he's really patient, too. <laughs> I'm glad. And now that we've gone through all that, I have no idea if I can teach. Ah, uh, Seiichi? Uh, what's up, Saria? Go! Be brave! <sighs> right, here I go. Right, that's a wash basin, not a blackboard eraser! Ask your grandparents about this comedic reference. <laughs> what am I worried about? Beatrice said they're all great kids. It's totally fine. What's going on? Is this for real? These are the special gifted kids she's all soft about? <laughs> Such students are unique. They're very unpredictable and can be difficult to keep out of trouble. It makes me worry about seeing What's going to happen to my boy? <laughs> we seek the great devil's resurrection, but to achieve that momentous feat, we must use death and destruction, misfortune and chaos to draw out the sweet nectar of mankind's despair. <laughs> well, Christ, do you have an update for me? <laughs> it turns out our great devil order has already devised a cunning plan. Fascinating. What might that be? This time, we're going to attack the Barbador Magic Academy. That's an excellent plan, and that means you'll be collecting the lives of VIPs from all over the world for us to use. It's quite an effective tactic, isn't it? By contributing to the Great Devil's Resurrection, I'll also be able to display my own strength and value. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> You look like a piggy ready for roasting. And my I add, what a pathetic piglet. I recognize you, Timmy Oros! And you, Andrea! What do you think you're doing, showing up here like this? I'll keep it simple. We've agreed that we should be the ones heading to Barbador Magic Academy. You two? Why? It would be irresponsible to entrust something so important to a filthy pig. But that plan's still in its early prep stages! You've proved our point beautifully. We don't require preparation. And soon you'll be... finished. <laughs> I hope we've answered your questions. Farewell, little Peggy. Boys, wait a minute! I'm not done with you yet! Fine, if you want to leave, go! But you need to untie me first. Hey, I thought we were friends. 
I can't wait to see their reactions. Hearing those desperate students at the Academy scream will be electrifying. <laughs> and all for the resurrection of the great devil. <laughs> <laughs> I started my job as a magic instructor. At least that's what I thought until my students began hazing me. I'm trying to be patient because hurt people hurt people. Next time, being a teacher is tough. Can't we all just get along? We finally arrived at Barbador Magic Academy, a school for students to master the magical arts. Seichi and Artoria joined as teachers, while Lulene and I are enrolled as students. Oh, and Oliga will also be serving as Seichi's precious assistant. Now it's up to Seichi. He must restore order and save the academy. But to do that, he'll need to take control of Class F, Beatrice's group of overpowered problem students. certainly got his work cut out for him with this mixed bag of misfits. <laughs> Will Seichi be able to teach them, preferably without dying? What does fate have in store for our valiant hero this time? <laughs> <laughs> much for personal space, huh? I want to know who the hell you are. Start talking! Sure, but could you take a step back? I could tell right when you walked in, loser. You want to fight me, don't ya? Don't ya! Maybe I can't do this after all. <laughs> me when I'm yelling at ya, you nerd! You think you could ignore me? That's enough, Agnos! <gasps> <gasps> Oh, hi, boss lady Beatrice! You're back! Oh! Oh! What? That was painful! Boss lady! You promised not to hit with the quarter anymore! Will you stop using that ridiculous title? You may not have realized it, but the person you're picking a fight with is now in charge of this class. What? There's no way! So! That waste of space is our new teacher! Um, yeah, that's me. Nice to meet you. We're taking orders from some brat? A brat? How many revolutions is he going for? There, that's better. As I was saying before, this is the man who will be taking over as your teacher. Say hello to Mr. Seiichi and his assistant, Oliga. <laughs> Huh? Where are the rest of them? Class F only has four students. <clears throat> uh, hi! It's nice to meet you all. I'm Seiichi Hiragi. I know we're basically the same age, but you can trust that I'll put my all into teaching you everything I can. I hope we'll get along. I'm Oliga. Nice to meet you. And this is Saria, who will be joining Class F starting today. Let's give her a warm welcome. Yep, I'm Saria. I'm sure we'll be good friends in no time. Oh, God! Wow! Look at you! Oh, man, you're the prettiest girl I've ever seen for sure! Did it hurt terribly when you fell from heaven, you angel? If you're not busy after this, we should grab some coffee together. That's excessive even for you. Now, please introduce yourselves to our three new arrivals. All right, me first. The name is Agnos Passion. Let me tell you a bit about myself. My win-loss is 999 to zero. I've more than earned my nickname of the terrifying Pompadour of Hell. You scared yet? Because you should be. Oh, wow, it's so cool. Yeah, you think so? And now it's my turn. Go in the It's magic, totally magic, nothing weird. Exit stage left. <laughs> okay, next up. Brood Lev Kaiser, charmed, I'm sure. Did you say Kaiser? I most certainly did. You have the honor of teaching a prince of the Kaiser Empire. Though, of course, my royal status is hardly relevant here at the Academy. 
You trying to upstage me, Pritzling? You're back? Thought you were knocked out. I was just resting my eyes! Please remember that even though I am in the same class as him, I'm on a higher level. Excuse you? Nobody talks to me like that. Let's take this outside! Happy to oblige. Hey now, fighting's not the answer, guys. <laughs> Agnes, brood, sit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so who's next? Hmm. Do you really have nothing to say? My name's Helen Rosa. Wow, short intro. <laughs> yeah, I had a feeling there was more to it. So, I guess the last one up is... <laughs> Quiet Beast? <laughs> Wait, so does this mean you can't talk? Look at him, so cute! There's no way! Nope, there's no way I can teach this class! Not happening! I'm out of here! Where is he? I've got his trail. That's it, for sure. I'm close! Sorry, are you okay? My head... Wait, hold on. You're Iriseto. Yeah, and you're the student council president. What's the matter? Why were you in such a hurry? Oh, it's nothing. I just caught a nostalgic smell in the air. <gasps> do you mean what I think you do? That's right. I'm sure of it. Saichi's distinct smell. Really? Huh? I can't believe that Say is actually here somewhere. Okay, then I'll help look for him too. Uh... Seiichi... Now, if you would please come up one at a time, I'll be returning your last herbalism tests. Bring it on, boss! <sighs> oh man, I haven't done anything and I'm already exhausted. You've got this. I believe in you. Agnos, your score was zero. Why'd you give me a zero? It's not what I gave you, but what you earned. You wrote with spirit for every question. Because you can do anything with enough spirit, you know? <laughs> All right, Brood, you're up next. <laughs> you did wonderfully. 90 points. Oh, wow, amazing. This much is to be expected. Baird, your turn. You scored a 95. Truly outstanding work. No way! How many times do I have to tell you? These are mushrooms! We're looking for medicinal herbs, not fungi! I'm sorry. Is the weird bearhead guy smarter than me? Hey, why'd she give you a good grade while I got a zero? That makes no sense! It, it's unacceptable! Huh. Obviously, it's because your answers were so incorrect she had to fail you. That's it! Outside now, pretty boy! Still happy to oblige. Okay. Guys, what? not this again! Come on, the door! <laughs> Just how powerful is Beatrice? And Helen scored 100%. Well done, as always. It's nothing. Wow, you're all like super smart, aren't you? <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> Just another magic trick, folks. <laughs> so, question is it possible to transform using magic? That does appear to be the case. I'm serious, Saria. The others aren't used to you yet, so please stop turning into a gorilla. You got it! I'm not convinced you understand. <sighs> You're back. Are you ready to begin? Oh, um, yeah, sure. If I can make a suggestion, you might want to start by observing the students' practical abilities. <sighs> by that, you mean... Like actual combat training or something? Yes. I believe it would be best for you to understand each student's capabilities in that area, so you can guide them appropriately moving forward. Well, it definitely couldn't hurt. Let's do it! He wants to see what we can do, huh? <laughs> Hmm. 
Little bastard. Where did that Seiichi guy come from anyway? I'm afraid I haven't the slightest idea. Do you have any theories? So are you. What about you? You seem to be awfully friendly with a new teacher. Do you know him? I do, actually. That so? And just what are you to him, then? Oh, easy. I'm Seiichi's loving wife. Oh, okay. So you're his wife, then, huh? No! <gasps> and what about that Alika girl who arrived with him? She's Seiichi's little sister. Well, that's interesting. And you three came to the academy together? Not just us! Seiichi can leave his girlfriend and his servant behind! He's so good here! What the heck?! He's got a girlfriend?! And a servant too?! Of course! We all love Seiichi! He's the best! Damn that guy! I'll kill him! Something I said? So, new girl, mm -hmm. as his wife, you must know a lot about him, right? I do! A whole lot! Well then, let's hear it. Just how strong is he? Oh, he's super duper strong! Hmm... I see... Huh? Uh -huh. I'm eager to hear the verdict, Seiichi. What was your first impression of the Class F students? Well, they've got strong personalities, but I wouldn't necessarily say that they're problem children. Honestly, I'm relieved. I think they're funny! Interesting. As I'm sure you've noticed by now, Class F is a bit different from the others here at the Academy. <clears throat> what do you mean by different? I realize you're still new here, but as you walked around the campus today, perhaps you heard their nickname. Um, no. I didn't, actually. They're known as the Dropout Corps. <sighs> you have to understand. All four of them are dealing with a major problem. <sighs> Okay, let's do this, chumps! Is it just us in here? You see anyone else around? Get ready! Cause my bat's gonna bring the fire! Ha! That rookie teacher will know what hit him. Well, well, well. What is the dropout core doing here? <laughs> Come here and say that again! You plebeians shouldn't be allowed to walk the same hallways I do. Really? Simply breathing in such close proximity to fools like you is enough to make me sick. Uh, brother, please. My stupid little brother brood. This class is a perfect fit for a failure like you. You keep shooting out that mouth. Must be prepared for the consequences. Uh, don't get away from me. Stop talking, Agnos. You heard the crap he said. I can't just do nothing. I'll kill you! What the hell are you doing? Let go of me! How amusing. Let me show you the difference between Class S and your kind. Wait, so there's a Class S? There is. The top class at this academy. All who defy Theobald Terra Kaiser, heir apparent to the throne of the Kaiser Empire, will be crushed like the worm they are. <clears throat> hmm? Oh, what beauty hides among the garbage. Uh... Tell me, girl, what is your name? Hi, I'm Saria. Then rejoice, Saria, for I hereby make you my woman from this day until your last. Huh? That's nice and all, but my heart already belongs to Seiichi. I must have misheard you. Did you say you're rejecting my affections? You heard right! Sorry, I love Seiichi, so that's that! <laughs> Impossible! I know there's no man alive better than me! Seiichi's way cooler than you'd ever possibly hope to be! He's also incredibly strong and handsome! How dare you speak to me like this! <laughs> 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 What's so funny, idiot? You dare mock the future emperor of the Kaiser Empire, as if I'll let you get away with such disrespect. <laughs> Saria, I shall grant you one last chance. Become my woman. Nope, can't. Hmm. I suppose I'll let you go. For today, at least. You're running away, coward! 
Shut your peasant mouth. I've granted you a reprieve for now, but I will bury you all in the class competition. Class competition? Do look forward to it, won't you? Not so much. <laughs> Dude, how long are you gonna keep this up? Put me down already! <laughs> Oh, good. Glad I found you. Sorry I took so long. Seiichi? So he's the one. Jeez, what was the holdup? Well, Barna, I mean the <laughs> <sighs> But hey, at least I'm here now, right? <laughs> uh... Did something happen that we should know about? Nah, man. It's all good. Feel free to start our lesson anytime. Uh, right. <laughs> Okay, so is everybody ready to show me what you can do? Guess I'll let you take it from here then, Seiji. Sounds good, thanks. <clears throat> oh, and I won't be using magic, so no need to worry about that. <clears throat> then your first opponent is me! Ladies first. What do you mean, Helen? Let me wear him out for you and, uh, yeah, it's totally cool. You go ahead. Chivalry ain't dead, not to me! <laughs> 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 okay, you and me then. You really won't use any magic? What, you think we can't handle it? Uh, no, it's nothing like that, I swear. You don't get it. Your skills versus ours full out. <laughs> well, in that case... Let's find out if your strength is the real deal, or if you're nothing but talk! I get that they want to test me, but she looks like she's intent on murder! What did I ever do to you?! <laughs> Seiichi definitely got more than he bargained for with Helen. Will my boy make it through the coming match without being maimed? More importantly, what exactly is this mysterious major problem the students of Class F face? Say, would you like to make a small wager? Shall we see which of us can kill more of the precious little brats at the Barbador Academy? Oh yes, let's. It's been quite a while now, hasn't it? Since I saw the murder princess at full strength. And for my part, you know I always enjoy seeing your power of deliverance brought to bear. To be honest though, I doubt you'll have a chance to do much of anything. My magic will slice through that pitiful horde of juveniles like a knife through butter. Don't get cocky. It's not going to be that easy. The Academy is stuffed full of magic users. And then there's Headmaster Barnabas, the one they call the Holy Mage. You shouldn't underestimate him. Oh my! We'll be up against a mage of that caliber? My heart can't take the excitement! I wonder what kinds of despair he has in store for me. That's thrilling, isn't it? I'm positive the Great Devil will be delighted. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! What is with this terrifying pigtail delinquent? It's so not cool to try and slice it to your teacher! Take a breath! We can work this out! Next time, Seiichi versus Class F! None of you are bad apples! <laughs> My darling Seiichi is now the big time lead teacher of Class F at Barbador Magic Academy! It's nice to meet you all. I'm Seiichi Hiragi. I know we're basically the same age. But you can trust that I'll put my all into teaching you everything I can. He's now mentor to a kid with a nail club and anger issues. Some quiet guy wearing a bear head. Your token prince. And the tsundere we all needed to balance us out. At least it's entertaining, if nothing else. Huh? Where are the rest of them? First order of business, a mock battle. Can't think of a better way to get to know the students and their abilities, can you? Well, in that case... First up was Helen, the tsundere who hates him. But you can't be a tsundere without some angst. 
What fate awaits sweet Seiichi today? Let's find out, shall we? Oh! You really won't use any magic? Why limit yourself? What, you think we can't handle it? Uh, uh, no, it's nothing like that. Good luck, Helen. It's your skills versus ours, full out. Let's find out if your strength is the real deal, or if you're nothing but talk! <laughs> what are you mad at me for? Oh, fight! Win Seiichi! I believe in you, big bro! <laughs> Can't wait to show Wifey and little sis how pathetic you are, you filthy animal! <laughs> She's angry. As long as I keep dodging, I'll be fine. <laughs> Yeah. What's up? Choo! When you play with knives, you get cut! Did she hurt him? Don't see how she wouldn't. <clears throat> Very impressive, Helen. Now we all know why they call you Twin Crimson Blades. There, see? Use your magic if you want. I'm not worried. Yeah, finish him off, Helen! We're good! This is it! My ultimate skill! Twin Fang Thrust! What is going on? I could have sworn my attack landed, but then suddenly I was flying through the air! Hey, get your gross hands off me, you giant creeper! I don't know where your paws have been! No way! He's smooth! I don't know why you're wasting our time! You're the reason everything sucks right now! Carver, let go! That looked like it hurt. Yeah, big ouchie. That serves you right! Still think you belong here? Fuck up! You're fighting me next! Hold on. What for? Why don't we tag team him three on one? What? That is not what I'm about! For what it's worth, I would be okay with that. Whoa. I'm not interested in your games. Keep it up and you'll be the first one I take down. Pardon, but could we please take a moment? Yeah, sure, whatever. This is supposed to be an assessment battle! I know, and I'm trying to move it along. Don't do it by ordering me around! Trust me. It's not what I gave you, but what you earned. Spirit! Oh, wow, amazing. It's nothing. Let's take this outside! I'm happy to oblige. If they've always been at each other's throats, how are they supposed to work as a team? We're so sorry for the wait. Hey! I'm on to you, newbie teacher! Keep your hands to yourself! Lay one for lanes on Helen and watch what happens! I'll crush your head yeah. like a I hear you! You don't have to get so close! Okay! <laughs> Heads up, Professor! <laughs> Just stand still! <laughs> No freaking way! <laughs> what was that? I suck! I suck! I suck! I suck! 
Now what? We live the rest of our lives as failures! All oh, because we can't use magic! No, that can't be. The hell it ain't! This wouldn't have happened if we could just... If we had magic! Magic we could actually use! We wouldn't be constantly picked on! Just because we're useless as shit! <laughs> Skill. World vision. <laughs> Status error. Rejection of magic activation detected. Rejection? Conflicting condition detected. The activation of magic has been prevented. <gasps> You must understand, all four of them are dealing with a major problem. The sad truth is that none of them can use magic. Huh? Not for lack of trying. Those kids have put every ounce of effort they had into it. And each time it doesn't work, they take it even harder. Other students see this and treat them as though they're contaminated. They've lost hope. <sighs> Given up on their futures. They're in a school that teaches magic, and they have no magic to use. They must feel so worthless seeing what the other students can do. It has to have been so hard on them. I remember what it's like being bullied at school, having no place where I felt safe. But I came here and met a bunch of kind people. Their acceptance saved me. So, that's why. It's my turn. I'm going to save you all. Uh, oh, is it that easy for you, Captain Save him? Like we're gonna be healed by the touch of your mighty hand? <laughs> I think if we just work together, we can prove what you're really capable of. I believe in all of you. His mother raised him right. Before I can teach them anything, I must free these kids from the chains that bind them. <laughs> Give them freedom. Free them. To free is to... liberate. Is that right? Liberation? Oh man. I hope I didn't just... Go, <clears throat> Link. My boy, it's been a while. Why? There's more after the break. If you're completely lost, watch season one! There's got to be a way to simplify this. I just need them to be able to apply what they learn like normal students of magic. series of unexpected events led me to teaching failures in another world. But, if a teacher doesn't believe in their students, then what are teachers even for, anyway? I'm sure they'll be able to use magic if I confront them physically. Or so I thought. Until some mysterious power really let them activate magic. Has been activated. Ah, what the heck?! Skill. A series of unexpected events led me to teaching failures in another world. I didn't if say to repeat it! If believe in their students, then what are teachers even for anyway? I'm sure they'll be able to use magic if I can find them physically. name is way too long! I thought, until some mysterious power really let them activate magic. It sounds like you're narrating! Hey man, what, what's happening? Uh, 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 it's hot. Yeah! It feels like power is pumping through my veins. Did it work? 
Am I magical? Spirits governing fire! Feast upon my mana! Bring forth your power and display it before me! Fire! I did it! I made real fire! Alan, you're a beast! I feel it! I have powers! Hmm? Uh. Uh. Yeah, oh, yeah! Water, 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 magic! That's what I got, water magic! Let's make it rain! It's not too late, so don't hesitate! Time to activate the goods! Get ready, here it comes! My full disaster! Well? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wow, this all seems awkwardly familiar. <laughs> Deja vu. <laughs> did that just happen? <laughs> it did. I want to try now. Mm, uh, fire? Okay. How am I supposed to summon it? Fire? Now that's what power is. Heck yeah. Some of that power went to your head! Good job, all of you! So cool! I like the guy with the fire hair! Thanks! Uh... I think you're kind of fire too, kid! No, you're actually on fire! Go fall disaster! <laughs> Thanks, you didn't have to. <laughs> This is a dream. I don't want to wake up. So, uh... Dude, you're actually all right! <laughs> Mr. Seiji, you're a boss, man! Wow, thanks. But the only thing I did was draw out the power you guys already had. We're eternally grateful. Turns out, you're a great teacher. From here on out, we'll continue to hone the power we now know we have inside. Uh, you know what else we're gonna do? We're gonna shut down anyone who dares to call Class F failures! You said it! You the boss best teacher say you can't go big brother! Uh, look, no, no. you don't have to call please, me boss please, man! Please, 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 I get it, it's okay? He's I'm not so bad. Here. <sighs> there are so many things to remember when you're a teacher. I'm worn out. All this reading is putting me to sleep. <laughs> hmm? ah! <laughs> Smells so good. Is it coming from you? Oh, is this a joke? Because you're creeping me out. But what is it about your smell that attracted me? Of course. It's because you smell exactly like him. Um, what's wrong with you? Why are you coating yourself in his wild, untamed, beastly man musk? Stop that! <laughs> 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 Sweet Seiji, I know your scent. Is it possible that you are nigh? It's been way too long since I had Bakudan. I miss the way the meat grenade bursts in my mouth. Um, flavor! Ah, ah, so good! I think this was the first meal my master gave me. I bet that's why I love it so much. Sniff, sniff. There it is again. His sweet and savory man mist. But why? Why is this smell coming from every pore on the back of your undeserving body? Why was he on your back? It's like he slid down your spine and onto your waist. Tell me why his 
smell is all over you! You don't even know me! <laughs> That's one thing about this school. Our cafeteria food can't be beat. It looks amazing! So much variety! <laughs> Yummy! Mm. I've never seen so much food in my life! <laughs> don't talk with your mouth full! It's as if you haven't heard that a zillion times. You glutton. I need calories. Are you trying to talk? We can't understand what you're saying. Is it good? This food isn't just for you, Lulune. Stop talking at all! Lulune, slow down! <laughs> I need you to behave like a proper student of this academy. Bad donkey, bad! Is that you? Saichi? Huh? <gasps> Could it really be? Huh? That priest! Please, don't talk Please to says... <laughs> Kanazuki, is that you? <laughs> it's true! It's true! You're here! You're here. Uh, uh, I finally found you! Uh, uh, <gasps> uh, 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 Kanazuki, her hypersensitive nose, and Seiichi were reunited, along with his loving wife, girlfriend, servant, little sister, and a partridge in a pear tree. Oh my, sounds like pandemonium's afoot. What fate awaits our dashing hero now? <laughs> Look over yonder. So that's Barbador Magic Academy, is it? Can you believe they have the nerve to put a barrier around it? <laughs> it's cute that they tried. Oh, my, my, it's quite sturdy. Hey, stop that! What do you think you're doing? Would you two gentlemen mind opening the gate? We have important business inside. What business might that be? You can't just expect me to take the... Oh. I'm sorry I wasn't clear. Will you please open the gate and let us in? Oh. Hey, what happened? Perhaps you could lend him a hand. Hmm. That was brilliant. Your power's useful in times like these. Makes things much cleaner. Now, let's get going. After you. You know, teleportation magic would be quite useful here. Wouldn't it, though? <laughs> The sweet, sweet scent of nostalgia. You may have changed your squishy exterior for the look of a studly stallion, but I know you, Seiichi. Okay, can you please? Seiichi, you've got some splaining to do. What's the deal? You have me and Soria. Is that not enough for you? Wait, now hold on! I don't want your excuses! Would you think you can keep getting away with this and no one is gonna do anything about it, huh? Teachers, please control yourselves! You're supposed to be role models! The swelling is a little disturbing, but I'm so glad you're safe. I guess it depends on what you call safe. That kind of behavior is unacceptable at this academy. Please prioritize your I could sense that you were close by for a while now. I followed your scent. I'm so glad to see you're all right. What do you mean by. You've started to smell like a woman. I smell a few women on you. Uh, well... I can smell your sweat leaking out. What's got you so flustered? That sure is an impressive skill. I thought I was either going mad or losing my touch. I couldn't figure out why I smelled Seichi on all of you. But now I smell you all on him. So who wants to explain? Be careful with your answer. I go easy on no one. Wow. You are quite a piece of work. <laughs> Not 
that you asked, but I'm Karen Kanazuki. I've known that guy since we were kids. If I can't leave my smell on him, then you can't either. Really? Well, I'm his girlfriend. Names are Toria Grimm. I'm Lulene, Master's faithful servant. Aliga, and Seichi's my big brother. <laughs> That. that was way too easy. Wait, she's back. What? <laughs> huh, please, nice try. Yo, it's so nice to meet you. I guess we all have something in common now, don't we? We've each bonded with Seiichi in our own way. That's why we should be friends. He only has, has one life, life though. It's me, Saria! My name is Saria! It's only mine! I am Seiichi's wife! This is Seiichi! Yay! Seiichi's wife is little I guess I lost. If you're still alive, can you please open your eyes? <laughs> I... I'm still here. A little fall of rain. Won't hurt me now. Let's get you to the nurse's office. Okay, well, I've got important things to do. But please, take all the time you need. So how long have you been in love with Seiichi? Uh, who said I was in love? Seiichi and I are old friends who grew up together. I'm not buying that. We wouldn't have fought if you two were just friends. Well, even if I had deeper feelings, I wouldn't tell you. It thickens the plot if I keep it all inside. Wanna know what I love? I love when Seiichi's happy and smiling, and I don't care why. Oh, I love watching him go at it in battle. It drives me wild when he's all brooding and brave. I love feeling his bungee booty bounce up and down when he's riding me. I love when he pats my head with his big, warm hands. Awkward. Please stop. Get a grip. Huh? He saved me once, before I was strong enough to save myself. When I was little, kids at school used to bully me. I was independent and stubborn, and they didn't like that. You dress funny for a boy! I'm a girl, jerk! Here, pass it to me! It's a game! Try to get it back if you want! You're all too chicken to pick on me on your own! Is that what you think, huh? And that's when he first appeared. Knock it off! Mm -hmm. Violence isn't the answer! It's against school rules! You can't play like that! Are you serious? Shut up, Butterball! You want us to fight you too? You ask for it! <laughs> <laughs> He wasn't strong, but he was braver than all of them. Thanks so much for what you did today. But what made you want to save me? My mom and dad said that if someone's in trouble, then you should stand up for what's right and lend a hand. Seiji, will you tell me the truth? Okay. Are they right? Do I really seem like a boy? Uh, no. Because I know you're a girl. And I like you the way you are. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> I didn't know until later that Seiichi didn't have parents. Our neighbors told me he lost them in an accident. So why was he smiling? I couldn't understand how he could be kind when he must have been hurting so much. <laughs> After he defended me that day, he became a primary target for police. Get over yourself, lard butt! Violence is wrong! It isn't the answer! <laughs> I couldn't take on all those punks. I couldn't help him the way he helped me. <laughs> Seichi? I'm sorry. What for? The truth is, I came here from another world, the same one Kanazuki is from. And, well, 
I'm honestly nowhere near as impressive as you all think I am. You see? This is who I really was before I came here. I know you're all in shock. I'm fat and unattractive. I'm embarrassed about my height and my uncontrollable B.O. The way I looked when you met me was all because I ate the fruit of evolution. Hang on a second. That's kind of a lot. I can't keep up. Yep, what she said. Uh, I'm so sorry, Seiichi. I probably should have kept that stuff to myself. <sighs> Please don't worry about it. It was gonna come out sooner or later, right? Look at this. It was made for a cool guy, but it's just me. That's the best part. You can't say that, because you don't know the real Seiichi. You've all been so kind and supportive on this journey. I'm sorry I deceived you. Will you look at me for a moment, please? <sighs> How you look doesn't change who you are. This is how I look, remember? But it's still me. I'm your wife, Saria, and who you were in the past doesn't matter. I love you right now, exactly the way you are. Thank you. Don't be so quick to judge. You accepted me right away, even though I was nothing but chaos. I was so bad I had calamity in my name. Yeah, but... Brother, I was an assassin with blood all over my hands. But you still hold those hands and tell me everything's gonna be okay. You pat my head as a sign of love. So now, I'm gonna do the same for you. There, there. Thank you, sis. Master, you give me food whenever I need it, and sometimes when I don't, just because you like making me happy. Not to mention, you look like a tasty snack yourself right now, so there's no way I could dislike you. Okay, that's about your issues. Cool, let's eat! There, you see? Everyone loves you for you, Seiichi. So try and have more confidence in the cool guy inside. <laughs> you guys... Thank you. You're the best. I hate to admit, you've made some good friends here. I'm glad. To know me is to know them. I'm who I am because of the people I've met. And I've known you a long time. Oh, thanks. I'm sorry. Okay. For now, it might be best that we cut all ties. Have I been oh. on mute this whole time? I'm sure you know, but I'm one of the hero candidates here. We were specifically sought out by the Kaiser Empire to attend this school. Yeah, that was the first episode. Those particular students are enrolled as hero candidates from the Kaiser Empire. But their latent abilities are strong. They've all been ostracized by our current students, and there's no end to their quarrels. Quarrels is a little frilly for what's actually happening, which is that we're constantly under attack. It's really that bad? Yes, and that's why you have to stay away from me. If the jerks who knew the old you were aware you arrived, they would spread their hatred to others and you'd become a target. I couldn't bear it if that happened again. Have you met my master? He could beat those punks up in his sleep! Yeah, obviously! That doesn't mean I want to throw him into a world of violence again for the thrill of watching him fight! <sighs> it's been a long time coming, but it's my turn to protect you. Look... I was serious when I said I'm glad you're happy. And that means a lot to me. I'll be looking out for you. <laughs> Oliga, you're trembling. It's that bracelet! Huh? <gasps> Hold on! What's the matter? Your bracelet! I need to know! Where did you get it? The Kaiser Empire gave one to every student in our class shortly after we arrived in this world. It's to raise our status. I just assumed that it was a good thing. Skill. Appraisal. I knew it. She was right. The enslavement bracelet. That hurts! They're gonna pay. 
They're gonna pay for this! <laughs> Led me to your arms. Silver lining, am I right? Okay, wait, what? You have to stop saying things like that! I'm freaking out! Really? You're saying we were being manipulated by the Kaiser Empire? Yeah, unfortunately. But it looks like no orders were issued through that bracelet yet. We got it off in time. So it wasn't to improve status. They put it on to control us. But why would the Kaiser Empire use such a thing? Likely to use you as tools to defeat the Demon Lord. Where'd you come from? You do realize that the Wimberg Kingdom is trying to forge an alliance with the Demon Lord army, don't you? I do now, thanks to you. The Kaiser Empire is a troublesome nation, to say the least. I've heard rumors that they're trying to stop other nations from allying with each other to achieve world domination. That's a pretty bold claim. No joke. So that means they're using the heroes as tools. They want to destroy the Demon Lord army. Or they could go for the Wimbled Kingdom, or possibly both. No way. Really? Maybe. Maybe not. It's just a theory. But the good news is that the bracelets on the hero candidates have been broken. I am grateful. Many thanks. Uh, oh, sure. No big. Um, is there something else? Hmm. That's all I came out here to say. Please keep this a secret from the other students. Understood? I can't believe we were summoned by such a devious nation. It's really not that bad. What do you mean? I mean it's all good. But even if it wasn't, I'd protect you. Uh. <laughs> hey, Master! Can you do the steering contest later? I'm really hungry! You ate earlier, Lulune. That was much earlier! I'm talking about now! <laughs> Maybe we should go. Yeah, okay. 
Teichi, wait. Hmm? Hmm? What's up? Let me join you. If there's a place for me, I think I'd be a perfect fit to join you if you're willing to give me a chance. Sounds good to me. I don't mind. But what role would you play? Just hear me out. I want you to make me your older sister. <laughs> sister? Really? Why do you look so grossed out? You hate the idea of me being your sister or something? No, why didn't you say that? I didn't say anything. <laughs> yes. yes. What's wrong? I didn't expect why that. Why not? I just think it's okay. You need to stay here. It wasn't just me. You saw it too. A surge like that? Of course I did. Sweet nostalgia. That was quite a surprise. Enjoying a leisurely beverage, huh? are we? No, no, you're not hearing things. I'm down here. Yes, it's me, Helio from the Kaiser Empire. Oh, you! What do you want from us? I need you to brace yourselves. It appears that the enslavement bracelets have been broken. So? How can you remain so calm? Don't you see that everything we did to train those hero candidates has been rendered pointless? Meaning our plan to turn the Academy into a den of chaos has failed and we won't be able to gather negative energy for the Great Devil's revival! Oh, it hasn't failed, oh. silly. We haven't even put it into motion yet. We'll get started right after a bit of late lunch. Excuse me for interrupting you while our world falls apart! That kind of anger will only lead to more wrinkles. Lay off my skin care! You should be more motivated by that surge earlier. Oh, but we are. What exactly was that? Do you know? I sure don't wish I could help you. But whatever it was intensified the Great Devil's darkness, making it even stronger and more powerful than it was before. Did it now? That's good. <laughs> the Great Devil's revival is upon us. It's time for you to go to work, apostles of the Great Devil Order, murder princess, and deliverance. I have every reason to believe that you... It affected the Great Devil. I'm surprised. <laughs> that will make carrying out our plan all the sweeter. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be sick! Why does this coffee smell like old man snitch? <laughs> How could you let me drink that? The competition between Class F and Class S is finally starting. Meanwhile, tragedy suddenly strikes and uninvited guests make an appearance. Next time, Apostles Attack! There's fan service in this one, so don't miss it! At long last, Seiichi was reunited with his childhood friend, Karin Kanazuki. Who knew he was looking? But alas, this merry mirth was short-lived. Turns out Karin was wearing an enslavement bracelet the whole time, and that killed the mood real fast. Seiichi flew into a blind rage and freaked us all out by unleashing a stream of darkness that swept over everyone. Let's just say this boy is lucky he's got friends. If not for us snapping him out of it, who knows what would have happened? Anyway, when we took the offensive band off of KK, she decided she wanted to join our group? The more the merrier, I say, especially at the Academy. Uh -huh. Or so we thought. While we were peacefully rejoicing, these two trifling apostles from the Great Devil Order decided to infiltrate Barbador. The shade of it all! Evil is getting closer by the millisecond! And I think that's everything for today. Don't forget, we have our class competition next week. Why do we have to wait for next week? I'm ready right now! Breathe. Look, I feel the same way. Oh, wow. They're so motivated. Hell yeah, we are. That bastard's gonna pay! That is quite amusing. I'll show you the true power of classes. Let's go! I'm dying to crush that jerk! Now, now, violence isn't the answer. I have a request. Huh? We want to win. Could you offer more advanced training after school? But why? You all have the ability to use magic now. There's no reason to overdo it. I really hope it's enough. I don't want to lose to some punk. What are you going to do, teacher? Um, not sure. I'm thinking we should... <laughs> <laughs> well then, I guess it's time. Let's go train! Yeah! So excited! Oh. Oh. Yummy! It tastes like a dream! Still eating? 
We can't fight on an empty stomach, can we? I want to make a good first impression on the students. It's just a little snack. Whatever you say. Check, please. Excuse me. May I add a chocolate parfait and a panna cotta? Rude. Haven't you had enough to eat? I have not. And it's vital I do. I won't be able to sleep if I don't consume proper daily nutrients. No one cares. Something about whatever just happened felt strangely familiar. Stop complaining and stay focused. All four of you have improved since Mr. Seiichi started, right? Tell them. Oh, right. At the rate you're going, you'll be beating Class S in no time. Jeez, thanks for the pep talk, man. Can't build skills with compliments, though. But I'm glad he made you smile. Me too. <laughs> well, at least you're having fun. That's sweet. How are loser students supposed to improve when their instructor is just as deaf? <laughs> Brother, please. The hell's your problem? Are you so worried about losing that you came to spy? As if you were worthy of my concern. We only came here to train. You're free to take notes. They could come in handy when I become Emperor. <laughs> oh no! Two knives? Scary. You're from the Vulture Empire. <laughs> Class F really is made up of pathetic underachievers, isn't it? And such a small, weak nation will fall powerless under the rule of my Kaiser Empire. Shut up! Bastard! All right, that's enough. You are completely out of line. Nothing good is going to come from trying to control the lives of others. Some people may think we're hopeless failures, but Mr. Seiichi doesn't. Wait, Seiichi? The same guy that Zarya mentioned? Yes, that's the one! That's my senior husband! Well then, I'll look forward to giving him an opportunity to show off his skills against me. Me? But why? So sorry. <clears throat> Unfortunately, that's not how it works. You'll be fighting all of Class F. You're blocking my way. Everyone has inner strength, even me. We all have the potential to be great. And we're gonna prove it to you. You won't win this time. <laughs> how inspiring. I wish you luck. <laughs> Man, that dude sure is annoying. Mr. Saichi. Huh? Mister? I need your help. Please make me stronger. No way! My mind's blown! You called him Mister? <laughs> you got it. <laughs> now, what do you say we get back to work? Yeah! <laughs> okay. It was on! Class F went beast mode under the tutelage of their sexy teacher. <laughs> <laughs> We're skipping ahead, and now it's the night before the class competition. Slap my pompadour and call me Winded. Uh, you know what I'm thinking? I want to know your thoughts. You feel like we can win this thing? We've done everything we could. All we can do now is have faith. Huh? Mm -hmm. He hides his face, but rocks out with his... I heard a rumor that it's because he's so beautiful, like we couldn't handle the truth. <laughs> Are you serious? I heard he looks exactly the same. How's that? Dude's actually a bear! Hello there. Oh, I guess it's possible. Well... <laughs> hey, I didn't recognize you guys. Whoa, that's us, class. Hmm? Oh, I'm deceased! Uh, ha, 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 ha. Scrappy, scrap, 
Scrubby scrub, getting clean in the tubby tub tub. <laughs> hey, Helen! What is it? Wanna help me wash your back? <laughs> <laughs> You must be so exhausted from all the training. I'm really sorry. It's fine. I'm glad you think so. I don't feel fine about any of it. Mm -hmm. I wasn't like Mr. Seichi. I regret not being of more help to you kids. Mm. I don't see it that way. If you weren't cheering us on, we wouldn't have worked as hard. <gasps> Wait and see. I know we're gonna win tomorrow. Yes. There's no doubt in my mind. I believe in you completely. Mm -hmm. Just one more sleep, and the class competition will be here before we know it. <laughs> Love it! Is this cute or what? Oh, come on. You've said that about every single dress you've tried on. As if that's my fault. I can't help it if I look good in everything. Good grief. She's not wrong. It really does look fierce. I know, right? Huh? Wait, who are you? Question. Which did you prefer? Was it the chocolate parfait or was it the panna cotta? Perhaps the matcha? I didn't even notice him. He came out of nowhere. So, um, what brings you here? You really should be focusing on your job, you know. Trust me, you don't want to get sloppy here. If you do, it will be your last chance. You'll disappear. Okay, good to know. <laughs> hmm. Great, I'm glad I can count on you. And I'm out. Yeah, same. Good afternoon! Now, welcome to Barbador Academy! And to an exciting event! Who's ready to find our school champions? Our first event will be... a group match between Class S and Class F! This will be an elimination match. Whichever team has all of its members defeated first will be the loser. In addition to that, after this match is done, it won't matter if you win or lose. All conflict will be strictly forbidden on sight. We're Seiji now. <laughs> That's awkward. I swear it's the Bakudan. I'm so embarrassed. And it's back. <gasps> Seichi, are you okay in there? No, dear, I'm not. The match is about to start. I know, so go watch it. Welcome, competitors, to your first match. Vanguards, please step forward. The rest of you save your energy. I can beat these wimps on my own. Yo, wait. You think you'll be okay? <laughs> it's sweet of you to worry for me. What? Like I would be worried? Hurry up and bash his face in. This ought to be amusing. Let's see your so-called potential in action. Let's begin! Hey, you're already off to a terrible start here! Hold on, sir! It's so tight, I can hardly move! It's magnificent! The tightness is a perfect pleasure! What the? That old pervert! Is he turned on by this? Who could that be? Good day to you, friends. I'm an apostle of the Great Devil Order. My name is Andrea. And I'm Demioros of the same. <laughs> of the Great Devil Order. Please be quiet. <laughs> we apologize for the abrupt intrusion, but I'm afraid we need all of you to die. What does she mean by that? Huh? What did that psycho beast just say? 
You need only stay quiet. We will offer you up to the great devil as our sacrifice. Oh, what is this? Everyone, settle down! Please remain calm! Advanced light magic. How did they manage to implement it so quickly? My, my. This is beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> the best part is, there's no way out. We've come to plunge your children into the depths of despair before ending your pitiful lives. Don't you know how rude it is to show up unannounced? Trespassers like you two have a lot to learn. And how would you like to teach us? You can start by kneeling before me. I just love a violent welcome. <laughs> You look handsome. Now go and make me proud, my sweet minions! What's wrong with you guys? Cut it out! <laughs> you never fail to impress me, murder princess. The way you manipulate your targets with such precision is an impeccable art. I got you! Don't you dare interfere! I don't need your help! But brother! Sibling love is so beautiful. <laughs> Although, I do have to wonder how much longer you can keep putting up that front. How dare you! I'm the next Emperor of Kaiser! Submit yourself! Oh, wow! I can understand why you'd rather we not kill you. It would cause great despair in the lives of your people. That's something I can't resist! You must die at once! You left it wide open! Come on! Please, accept my apologies. Whatever. So what now? Honestly, I think we're going to have to work together. Huh? We can't overpower those two on our own. If we want to save the Academy, we have to work as a team. It's just for now. Please, Helen! I'm only taking orders from you. Let's kick those jerks to the curb! The sooner they're gone, the sooner we get back to our match! <laughs> Don't tell anyone. Fine. <clears throat> There's no time to waste. King's sworn duty, taking down enemy leaders! <laughs> <laughs> You're paying quite a hefty price for using your friends as decoys. Is that some kind of Kaiser Empire etiquette? You really are an idiot. <laughs> Hold on. You used defense magic because you assumed you'd be attacked? <laughs> Go now! <laughs> Uh-oh. So much for the signature look. How dare you! You wretched rat! Die! You have sealed your fate with that move! Revealing my face without my consent! I hope you're not expecting to leave here alive! May each one of you burn for what you've done to me! Die! Magnus! Don't worry, you're next! I can't hold on much longer, guys! Yeah! How about you leave him alone? Shut up! Stop telling me what to do! Stop screaming like that! 
The mask has a dual purpose. It's meant to hide the mess that is her face, but it also conceals her true power. Maybe you shouldn't touch another's belongings. She earned those flames of hers when she first burned her own face. They're the fires of hell, cursing everything. My goodness, you have such a pretty face, don't you? And it starts. There she goes again. There's something about seeing a pretty face like yours up close. It inspires lovely visions of me melting it right off of you! <laughs> oh? What the? That's quite enough. You're not to lay a hand on my students ever again, got it? Miss Beatrice, be careful. <sighs> I hope I didn't just imagine that. Beatrice was the one who stood up to Andrea? Nothing makes sense anymore. Does this mean that she's strong enough to take down the apostles of the Great Devil Order? And what about my Seiichi? Hello? Are you still in there? True! Get better! It didn't work! Oh, and by the way, this spell is the evolution of Get Better from Season 1! Gonna quit! It's either that or stay in the stall for the rest of the oh. season! Oh, wow! Well. Here it he comes! Let's it out! The battle will continue next week, as they say! I hope we're talking about the battle with Class S! <laughs> My stomach is a devil! Everyone go on with your lives and forget about me! No, really, I mean it! Hold on, is Beatrice fighting like for real? Next time, Battle for Barbador Magic Academy! You guys, am I still the protagonist here? So what happened last time was, Class F became obsessed with beating Class S in the Barbador Magic Academy's competition. They decided the best way to win was to ask their teacher to give them extra training, and he said yes. Then we did a little fast forward because these episodes can only last so long, but things were interrupted by Demi Oros and Andrea. They're the shady ones who say they're the apostles of the Great Devil Order. That's when Class F decided to team up with Theobald, who we don't like, to defend the school against Andrea. Well, whoever suggested that strategy should be fired because it didn't work at all. They got crushed. But guess who showed up for work and came to their defense? That's enough. You're not to lay a hand on my students ever again, got it? So now it's Beatrice against Andrea. It's so exciting. Stick around to see who comes out on top. Uh -huh. <laughs> Beatrice, where did she go? You think you can defeat me? I welcome the privilege of watching a hag like you struggle to beat me at anything! Hag? Forgive me, beautiful Beatrice! I want to help, please know that! But these bonds are too tight, there's not doing it for me anymore! Horatia! Believe me, I will protect our students! Will you? <laughs> hmm? You think you're strong enough? Well then, let's see if you still feel that confident after this. I've always loved a good makeover! What did you do to him? Why the mask? <laughs> How are you gonna fight now? <laughs> if only... If Mr. Seiichi were here, he'd know what to do. <laughs> Seiichi, are you still in there? Are you okay? <laughs> the heart Attack! Go! Mask Bobador! You don't want to do this, Agnos! You're not in your right mind! Agnos, cut that out! <laughs> 
can beg him all you'd like, but he only listens to what I tell him to do now. <laughs> Want to see another trick? Hey, Papador, tell Hexilla how you feel about her! <laughs> Mr. Sage, he is the one who taught me how to use magic. You wasted my time. You wasted my time. 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 Look at your face. I love that expression. Miss Beatrice, don't believe him! He's under their control right now! Rhodes, right! The Hypnos is grateful for you, just like the rest of us are! The only way to stop him now is by force! <laughs> I deserve it! Uh. All of it! I deserve to be punished for not bringing out your talents the way I should have! Beatrice! Finish her off, Pompadour! You know what? I don't care. I'm your teacher whether you like it or not. You hear me, Agnos? Now snap out of it! Why are you just standing there? Go on! Tear that useless joke of a teacher to shreds! So that's it! Wrong, In the past, Agnes. she'd berate him and then soothe his heart. Now his Why body craves Miss Beatrice's strict teaching style mixed with kindness. He's thirsted for her warmth and approval since those early days! You will not disobey me! Uh, are you okay? There's no You're brainwashing others to perform your evil tasks for you. And that sounds to me like the kind of crime that warrants especially strict discipline. <sighs> Go ahead and try it! You piece of trash! <laughs> you sure you want to challenge me like that? <laughs> Concludes the lesson. Are there any questions? No? In that case, class dismissed. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to get brainwashed during any more school functions. Boss lady! <laughs> You're the best, Miss Beatrice. That really was an amazing display. Wait, an amazing display of what? Of course you don't remember. I'm not surprised. You're such an idiot. Excuse you? No one calls me an idiot except <laughs> me! You actually did battle her, though. We all saw it. What? Shut up! I don't remember that! <laughs> <laughs> I'm still here, you know. The fun is far from over. Whatever. I'm hungry. Let's go get some food. That's a good idea, but you should go to the nurse's office first. Oh, man. <laughs> <clears throat> oh! Oh! Principal uh, Barnabas! How dare you forget about me already, fools! <sighs> now look alive. Because I am Demioros the Deliverance, and this charming celebration really ought to wait until after you've defeated me. Isn't he? Yeah, that guy. Almost forgot. And another thing. I don't know what's worse. 
Lazy waiters who don't respond when they're summoned. <laughs> or a bunch of adolescent simpletons who can't read the room even when their miserable little life depend on it. <laughs> so much drama. Will you please continue? I'm sure you planned a wonderful lesson, and I'm dying to see what you have to teach me. Timioros, psst. Oh, hey. What are you still doing alive? Please, help me. My power is drained. Can I borrow a little of yours to finish this fight? <laughs> Some of my power. Yes, will you? If so, we can destroy them together. <laughs> what? Why are you laughing? Because <laughs> you've no idea how over you I am. Over me? What does that mean? That you would forsake a fellow apostle? You know the great devil would never allow it! Here's the part you seem to have blocked out for some reason. You're not a real apostle, my dear. What do you mean by that? I'll tell you. An apostle is one who has received a portion of the great devil's power and knows how to use it. When that happens, a crest appears on their body as proof of their skills, like this one. What? I don't understand. I suppose I shouldn't automatically assume you don't have one, right? Sorry, did I miss you having a crest somewhere? If not, then you are of no further value to our great cause. Timioros, please, why are you doing this to me? I thought we were You should see the look on your face right now! It's perfect! That genuine despair is exactly what we want! It's what the great devil desires most! <laughs> hey, sorry for the interruption. Shall we get on with the rest of the lesson? You require especially strict discipline from your instructors, don't you? Wow, he's quite strong. Come on, quit holding back and give me some harsh discipline! What did you do to our teacher? Boss lady! Can, Can you hear us? Stay away from me! Just don't come any closer! It isn't safe! Well, look who's up. I'm so glad. It would be boring if this were the end. She is not messing around. She's so freaking hot, dude. My, my. I'm sure you think you've arrived, but you're at a dead end road! Oh, man. I really liked this jacket. But I'm happy to let you pay for it. With your last breath! <laughs> Bear, go! <laughs> Excellent. What? The despair you will feel after losing your precious students will be a delicious blend of grief, desperation, and anger. I wonder if you might solve a mystery for me. What sort of expression do humans make when they're struck with sudden anguish? <laughs> really? So you'd protect your students even if it means losing your own life? <laughs> 
<laughs> what a beautiful gesture! I have the utmost respect for you. But no! No, no, no! That's not going to work for me! In order to complete my vision, you have to watch your students be killed. Do you understand the plan now? If so, let's quit wasting time, okay? I am an educator. It's my job to believe in their potential, and in them, to watch over them and help them grow. I won't walk away from the promise I made! <laughs> now wait just a minute, boss lady! Don't protect us! We're fine! Oh, sweet children. I wonder if it would be a more appropriate choice to have them watch as their beloved teacher is murdered. So long as there's despair, the great devil will be delighted with either choice. It's over for you! Bye-bye! Thank you for your valued instruction! Stay strong. <gasps> Wait, no! Hmm. <sighs> Mr. Mr. Seiji! Yo, boss man! It's really you! <gasps> Thank you for coming to help us. Don't mention it. What's going on here? So... Are you planning on letting go of my arm at some point, or...? <clears throat> what the...? Sorry I'm late. Are you alright? Uh, I am now. Thank you so much. Hey, Saria and Oliga, take care of everyone. Leave them to us, big brother. But what about you? Are you the one who did all this? And this? And this? <clears throat> I need an answer. Are you the one who did this to them? Who hurt them? <laughs> I'm looking at your face! Time for you to die! Trap it! Fall down! End it! Tap out! Whatever! Just die! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you guys. It's my fault for being late. You're a Haas boss, man! I should just call you Haas man! But it's true! If you were here from the start, maybe we could have avoided a little of the cray cray! Speaking of which, you want to tell us where you've been all this time? Well, I was fighting a different enemy. That's our boss man! You and boss lady, best teachers at this freaking school! I'll work just as hard as them, and I'll get stronger too. Tell me, Brood, will you laugh now that I've so tragically lost? Of course not. Each battle we fight is a learning experience. I admire you. I think we could both work on our strength. What do you think? Welcome. Thank you for making the long journey to be here. I truly appreciate it. Oh, yeah. It's been a while since we got together. But no time like the present, right? Now then, 
want to tell us what's going on. The two that we sent to Barbador, Andrea and Demioros, have already been defeated. I see. Our enemy's not half bad. I've summoned you all here for a reason. It's time to plan our next move. That's all well and good, but why are you the one giving us orders? Me? Give you orders? I wouldn't dare. I'm simply requesting your help to achieve our goal of the Great Devil's Revival. Yeah, sure. But I gotta tell ya, I never had much hope for them. I figured they were doomed to fail. I want to make the first strike! Go ahead. I won't argue. By all means, hold nothing back. <laughs> What's going on here? Who are they? I'm not sure. The Great Something Order... Robot, maybe? The Great Robot Order? So they're mechas? No, it's the Great Devil Order. <laughs> oh. Does that mean you've heard of them before? It seems the day of the final battle is drawing close. We must come together and face them! We can do it with the power of love! Will you please stop talking? I have something to say that will be important to all of you! <sighs> I'm not done. My name is Demi Oros, the Deliverance. I'll send you straight to hell. Too bad you don't have any backup. <laughs> that was silly, I must say. Is Big Brother okay? Seiichi? Say something, please? Oh no! This is Seiichi Hiragi taking my last breath. I know it was short-lived, but we had a good run. Thanks for checking out the second season of The Fruit of Evolution. I'm just kidding. I can't die halfway through the show. I'm the protagonist, for heck's sake. Next time, Seiichi dies. Seiichi dies? Everyone dies, but no one truly lives. My Seiichi! <laughs> Seiichi dies! The end! Thanks for watching! I like drama too, but you don't see me killing off fighters, do you? Okay, was I missing? Who are you? Your friend from way back! It's me, Irene! Your name's Irene? Like the rice one? That's meeting! I tried. Like a tricycle? Those are three wheels. This has three sides? Are you stumped? Did I win the game? That was fun! Who is that? And why? I was feeling the FOMO and I wanted back in on the show! Figure the underworld was the perfect opportunity! <laughs> You mean I actually died? Yes, Seiichi. If you're dead, that means you died. People die when they are killed. What? The protag dying halfway through the season? You must really suck. I liked you better back in episode one. I liked it better when I wasn't dead. Moving 
on? Give me a sec. It's been a while since I've narrated, and I'm searching for coherence. Anyway, you're still the protag, so if you remain dead, the whole series is finished. I selfishly suggest you come back to life and spare us all the complaints. Okay, but how would I do that? Thought you'd never ask. Find the gate of the living here in the underworld. Once you do, simply pass through it. The gate, gate of, of the, the living? living? And if we just walk through that gate, we can stop this whole being dead thing? Gosh, you catch on quickly! Now go! That gate won't find itself! Heck yeah! I'll do whatever I can to get you back to life! You can count on me! To the gate of the living! Yay! Let's go, fam! Woo-hoo! Woo-hoo! You can do better than that! Yay! Welcome to what I call the Sudden Cross the Sticks Yes or No Ultra Quiz! I'll be asking you questions about your life. In order to pass each checkpoint, you must correctly answer yes or no. You make your choice by enthusiastically leaping in that direction. Uh, wait, so what happens if I leap in the wrong direction? Then you will have jumped into the sticks. Instant death. How does that work if we're already dead, though? Do you want to find the gate of the living or not? I do! Are you sure? I don't know if I believe you. Yeah. I want to go right now! I can't wait! First question. <laughs> The reason Idine fell in love with Saichi was... <gasps> love at first sight! Yes or no? Make the leap! Idine, are you honestly in love with me? Idine can't come to the phone right now. Why? Because she's dead! No one's fallen in love at first sight with me before. I guess this new look is still working for me. You are so unnecessarily into yourself, aren't you? <clears throat> Do you want me to answer or not? As if I'm the one stalling, we need a yes or no, kid. Was it love at first sight or something else? I have no idea. How long has she loved me? Wait. Is she trying to give me a clue? Is that why she's moving her legs like that? Is it an X? Like the answer is no? Never mind. For all I know, she's just doing the pee pee dance over there. Here goes. I'm gonna bet it all on this one. Monkey turn! That is cold. Oh, thank goodness. That was a close call. You did it, Say! You really did it! <laughs> I knew you would make the right call! Way to go, Say! Keep it up! Thanks, Irene. Here's the correct answer. Flashback style. It was way back in middle school. I didn't have any friends there, and so I always ate lunch by myself. <gasps> that was the time when I first met Say. Here, use mine. I mean, if you want. Huh? <laughs> oh, thanks so much. That's very nice of you. Since neither of us fit in with the other students, we started eating our lonely lunches together. Why are you always here? You don't have any friends to eat with? That's a rude question to ask someone, don't you think? Oh, sorry. I didn't mean anything bad by it, I swear. Huh? It's just, I've never seen you get bullied, so I thought you must have friends. Unlike me. <sighs> the thing is, I'm not good at talking to other people. But you talk to me whenever we're out here. I know, but that's because you're easy to talk to. Plus, I, I hate that I look so plain and boring. Who would even want to talk to me? You're a great person. You should have more confidence in yourself. Huh? I really mean it. You're super nice and honest. You're an amazing listener. And, well, I think you're cute. Me? Cute? <gasps> yeah. So, I'm sure you could make lots of friends. If this is how you are with everyone, who wouldn't want to talk to you? <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. I really didn't mean to make things all awkward. <sighs> no, I'm fine. It's just, 
You called me cute. <laughs> it wasn't love at first sight, because she thought you were a creeper. Till you called her cute. Turns out, all you have to do is give compliments and be nice. <laughs> That's right! You're the girl I ate lunches with. Yes! I'm so glad you finally remembered where we met! I am who I am because of you, and the confidence you gave me that day. Wow, I had no idea. Now it's payback time! Yes, I am ready and willing to risk my life to protect you! Ha ha ha! ha ha ha! Thanks, Irene. <laughs> you crazy kids! Congrats on passing the very first checkpoint! We did it! Yay! And we finally reached the last checkpoint! What? Already? I'm speaking to you today for one reason alone. Listen close. We've received a letter from the Demon Kingdom. They are officially requesting to forge an alliance with us. Huh? It's about damn time, huh? So, we're finally getting the moment we've been waiting for! Good to see you haven't changed, Gussel. Wait, where's Eris? I'm over here. Hmm? <coughs> the let me guess, I was in the bath too long and the heat put me to sleep, so you decided to tie me up whilst I was knocked out. Is that right? Do you like the new apparatus? It's called a wooden heart. Just the tight. Get it? Ropes. They're tight, tight. Like an alliance is. Are you even listening to me? Listen up, everyone. We're forging the alliance with Wimberg Kingdom. As you know, this has been a long time coming. I hope you'll celebrate with me. This is our chance to restore stability, to reclaim our smiles and move forward! Hear, hear! There's one more step to ratify the Alliance. Promise that we're all in this together! We are with you every step of the way, beloved Demon Lord. If anyone has any thoughts to share, feel free to voice them here and now. I do have one concern. What is it? Some of our new allies, well, frankly, they're beyond comprehension. Especially that unfathomable joke of a guildmaster, Gussel. I think you would be wise to stay as far away from him as possible. Respectable! A very wise it's suggestion. It's a naked muscle man. Humans are so strange. I have no doubt they'll like me, and I'll get along with them, too. <sighs> Lady Lutia, it's not that bad. They do have one member called Eris, and she's relatively normal. What's relatively normal mean? See for yourself. <laughs> She's kind of cute. What I'm saying is that the fate of this kingdom rests in your hands, and I'm counting on you to handle it. Yeah! Wait till they get a load of these guns! Especially this one! See that? That's what hard work, discipline, and a tan can do! My whip is ready! Yeah! Let's go! <laughs> At least I know I can count on this. No one else will work with these curves. <laughs> Time for a quick break. Do try to behave yourselves. To review, Seiichi and ID have safely passed through the first checkpoint, and boy was it tough. Now the poor souls wander desperately in search of the next- You can't narrate if you're just gonna make stuff up! Yeah, we're not really wandering. And after what felt like endless wandering, they finally discovered that- NOT WANDERING! They discovered that another trial awaited them, one that would challenge them in ways they had never foreseen. <laughs> I've been waiting for you, Seiichi. Hold on, I know that mohawk. I am the great ancestor of the Rose Clan. Creepy McTight Pants. He's called the Conqueror of the Underworld. The great shall we do it the first. Shall we shall do, we it? do it? He's related to that guy in season one. No way, were you in the mohawk guy clothes? Hell no. I'm not going to speak for him, but I will say I do love that booty. Oh yeah. This checkpoint is definitely hell. In more ways than one. All you have to do is get through the labyrinth and you'll find the gate of the living. He says it like it's all easy peasy, but it's not! The gate of the living is defended by us, and we're not going anywhere. You get that, Seiichi? You're gonna want to keep your gate nice and secure, you hear me? My gate? What? And no, I don't mean gate of the living. I'm talking about your personal gate. Seiichi has his own gate. 
I can't say it outright because there are minors following along, but I mean his Wait, are you talking about my That's right. And if you let us your while you're trying to escape, you're as good as dead. I can't believe my ears were exposed to that! Put on your big kid undies and race through that final checkpoint! Ready for the mansion of hell? Don't worry, Stay. I'll protect your gate, no matter what! Guys, calm oh, down. Yeah. Bring it! Oh. Oh. Hey, Wait, slow down! Stop. Wait! Run away! Get back here! Whoa! Yeah. Am I alone? Yeah! Wow. Move it, Buster! Oh! And you're such a pretty girl, too! Today's me lucky day! Watch your back! <laughs> this might be the grossest thing I've ever done, but... The door's locked! Door's locked! It's locked, damn it! I think I just broke my fingers on his titanium tuggus! What the hell is he packing back there? You're not doing crap with those fingers anymore! So give it up and take your place here in the underworld, Seiji! We've got room for you here in the Rose Clan. It's a fun way to spend your afterlife! Anyone who renounces themselves can't be human. Did they fire the old animator? <laughs> then die! <laughs> I'm sorry, we failed! Uh, how'd this happen? This is not okay, my dudes. Sweet revenge is coming to the punk who attacked you too! Come on, now's our chance! Uh, 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 I'm gonna get you! Uh, you okay? Keep going. Don't worry about me. Just run. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. As the guardian of the gate of the living, I will not allow you to breach my opening. You're about to feel a surge of power deep within your loins and beyond. This is the top secret technique passed down within the Rose Clan. Our most powerful ultimate skill is called the Rose Fist. I'm pretty sure I know where this is going. AKA the Rose Petal. Loves that rose. It's happening. Buckle up, Seiji. Oh, uh, sure. That's my. Can we move on from this bloodline, please? Just let them imagine what's happening. Well, what news do you have for me, Judas? Lord Gimple has taken action. Oh? Vitor is moving as well. Hmm. I'm so glad everyone seems to be having a good time. Get up, Say! Say, please! Oh, no. I'm impressed you lasted this long with that soft, fluffy personality of yours. Not that you wouldn't have ended up here if you pretended to be a tough guy. Huh? Do it the first. The wait is over. This'll be the moment where I surpass you. <laughs> is that my hand shaking? Am I do it the first actually trembling? <laughs> do it the first. Hell is too mild for you, and that's a stupid name. So true. In case you didn't know, you're my hero. Good! It's always more rewarding to take down a hero! <laughs> never back down! Never beg! Never apologize! There's no escaping for a king! <laughs> Well, isn't that funny? It seems in the middle of the battle I forgot how to fight. Uh, 
I am an icon! My life was once lived without a single regret! Please, I need no name on my tombstone. If I die, I... It's fine. Just run on by without hearing my final wishes. Slow claps all around for Saichi and friend making it this far. I think I've seen enough to lead you straight to the gate of the living. Yay! Yeah, why do that from the start when you can fill a whole episode with baloney? People need to see their heroes overcome trials, Seiichi. You're a role model. If it's an actual trial, I'm down. But pulling out the finger guns? <laughs> oh, yes. We sure did have a time here in the underworld, didn't we? By the by, have you noticed anything different about your status lately? Huh? Seiji? Seiji! <laughs> You're awake! Oh, Seiji! His eyes are open! He's back. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. You had us all so worried. <laughs> hey, you guys. <laughs> What's going on here? Master! Louise! <laughs> I got you. Louise! No! <laughs> Just breathe. Hang in there. Will she be okay? When I came back to life, I found Louise, the leader of the Valkyries, there with me. But what happened? How did she get all those injuries? Wimberg is rushing to seal its alliance with the Demon Kingdom, so they're hosting a guild audition? Next time, the four leaders closing in. They're finally making their move! Louise, bring me Seiichi. I'm about to do something quite kingly and he shouldn't miss out. You want him here? Physically? Oh yes. The demon and human worlds are forging an alliance, and Seiichi should be here standing around looking impressed. Mm. Your wish is my command. Yes, I know. Done undone, she said. Then just saddled up on a horse and headed for the academy. Spoilers, Seiichi agreed to be a witness and so did Saria. But here's the real conflict. Something's up with Louise. She's supposed to be the strongest warrior in the kingdom. And look at her! What is this world coming to? And where did the horse go? Uh -huh. Member open auditions! Hope you're ready to show us what you got! We're forming an alliance with the Demon Lord army and are in need of some talented individuals. This baby needs to find someone who can make him cry with joy! Who's ready for a party that really slaps? My talent is... thinking! Yeah! Talk about raising the bar, if you know what I mean. It's a yes from me, dog. You really took Rip to a whole new level! Oh. Oh. Whoa! Where's he going? <laughs> Number 12! Big Bunny Smash! Bunny ears are overdone, that flop is poo poo, and he's huge! No! <laughs> Hi there! I'm number 16! You may have seen me before! Let's not get sued! I want my mommy! And together we're... The big, big old no! I skipped leg day for this? What the? Who did that? Hello, judges. I've come here to win this audition. That is one pretty baby! But do you have what it takes to entertain? Like a milky white linen with a green undertone. That scent. An inviting custard bathed in innocence. <laughs> Such thorough care given to temperature on the tongue. Every drop bursting with the mother's love. The finest drink for her beloved spawn. Right now, you're the one to beat. The real test is whether you can keep up with these thrusts or not. If I must. This 
is how we weed them out. You gotta thrust harder. That's not true. Look closer, friends. Uh -huh. Oh, I see it. His pelvis works like a wheel. When it rotates at high speed, it looks like he's stuck. Those hips don't lie. They're way too fast to follow. Which makes it look like he's much slower. <laughs> that is so hard. Woo! Oh, yeah. Scream more for me, Bay. Yes! I think it's safe to say we found a spinner who can thrust with the best of us. Oh. I'd love to see what other tricks you've got up your aubergine sleeves. Well, if you're certain. Oh! Pardon me! Oh. My word, that's some definition! At first glance, it seems you have normal skinny guy arms. But after gripping these guns, I see they've been polished and buffed out to the max! There's no way you get enough sleep and have a mountain of boulders for a body! Oh! And these biceps! Like Mount Everest! Oh my. That's so. Then you might enjoy this. <laughs> Ooh, sweet ogre meat! The muscle map on your back looks like an angry ogre face! Such impeccable molding! I surrender! You win the Nobel Prize for muscles! Here he is, folks! We've got a new member! Wow, congratulations. Congrats! Happy to have you. Congratulations and stuff. We're all here for you. Oh, thank you. How did this happen? It's almost time for the summit to start and my packs are not ready! Listen up, everyone! It's time for our rock-solid guild to welcome the Demon Kingdom to Wimberg for this momentous alliance! Yeah! yeah. Oh, oh, demons! Glad you made it, Lady Lutia. Lovely as always. Thank you. This is quite the welcome. How are the big plans going? <laughs> you don't see me complaining, do you? <laughs> it's so amusing to watch idiots waste their time. <laughs> Emperor Alf. I've no idea what direction this nation is heading. I feel helpless. Is there nothing I can do beyond waiting? Or behaving as a puppet in humble service to my country? Hmm? shall belong to the Great Devil Order soon. We're collecting their despair by the gallon from the royal family down to the lowest commoner. <laughs> Takes evil to recognize evil. Now all we need to do is revive the Great Devil and we're golden. World domination is well within our grasp! 
I hope you're exaggerating. Uh, it's the Emperor's sword, Zakia! Don't you know it's rude to eavesdrop, young man? You wretch! Has this been your plan from the very beginning? <laughs> Such outrage! Don't tell me that you're still adhering to Emperor Alf's noble drivel like a child to a fairy tale. Drivel, he says? Look around. This whole world is filled with miserable beings screaming and crying and begging for salvation. All that despair will fuel the Great Devil's revival without my intervention. I won't let that happen. Or I'm not the Emperor's sword! That must have been so embarrassing for you! I hate that you got all suited up to impede a plan no one can hope to stop! <laughs> Zakio, please hear me. Some decades ago, there was a land that found itself in great peril. Out of nowhere, it was beset by fearsome monsters. Fires raged all around, and while I fought back, I was no match for them in the end. Not even one as strong as you? That is the reason I first created this nation, you see. To prevent such a thing from reoccurring. And yet... <coughs> Look at the state we're all in now. Zakia, please. If this beloved nation is ever faced with a similar crisis after I'm gone, I need your word that you will rise up, rise up and save them in my name. I hope that time never comes, but if it does, don't battle alone. Reach out to other nations for help as you lead this country. It's very important to me. I gave you my word, and I'm standing by it. Your wish will be honored, dear Emperor. such a hurry today that you've forgotten your manners? Hello there, Knight Captain Zakia. So then you know who I am? Stand aside or I'll show no mercy. That figures, since the world's been plunged into chaos lately. Uh. Gotta admit, it sounds fun. Uh. Up here, little doggy. Are you with the Great Devil Order? Got it in one guess! Now's my chance! What the? Hmm? You were so close. Why can't I stop shaking? No way. It's my turn now. I wonder how you'll handle this. What exactly are you trying to do? Bring about the world's destruction? Don't judge me, I'm trying to have some fun! But you know, I think it's about time to end this. <laughs> No, not yet. It's not my time just yet. I can't do that to him. I can never face Emperor Alf if I die here. Ah! <sighs> 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 
Oh man, you're a stubborn one. But it won't serve you. Aw, you scared. Sakia, I entrust this sword to you. Your Majesty, this sword is the true proof of your reign. And now, Zakia, from this moment onward, you will carry my blade as the Emperor's sword. Do not ever dishonor that title in battle. Say my name! I am Zakia, the Emperor's sword! I gave him my word, and by my title, I will honor the mission he entrusted to me! Magic Sword Fiftia! This is the end! Conquest way! I guess I expected a bit more from the Captain of the Night Sky. This was a disappointment. <laughs> bye bye now. I am the Captain of the Valkyries, Louise! And I warn all who would shed blood on our land. You will be destroyed without mercy! Wow, such a scary look. Zakia, are you all right? Run while you can, Louise. That man is... Evil. Tell me about it later. I'll take you on with my full might. I wouldn't if I were you. Shut up! Damn it, Louise! He's so strong. Told you so, Blue. Okay, fine. But you're not nearly as strong as my master. You're who? <clears throat> He'd take you down in a blink of an eye. Hey, quit messing with him, Louise. Get out of here. Leave you? Yeah, right. <laughs> You make it all so fun. What are you doing? I really don't think you want me to answer that. Zakia! How bad is it? Can you stand? Zakia! Just keep fighting. I'll go and get help. Hang in there for me. Listen closely. It's something... Something I really need you to know. The Great Devil Order? Louise... It's up to you now. Do what you can to stop them. <sighs> Please don't leave me! Zakia, come back! Okay, I think I understand. If the Great Devil Order is taking action, the Alliance Summit is most likely in danger. Well, not necessarily. After all, the Wimberg Kingdom has King Rons and the strength of the entire guild behind it, isn't that right? Well? <sighs> we have to make sure that this alliance is forged as planned. We will. Mm. Mm. 
What the hell were you talking about earlier? And you've got nerve calling me a bearded bastard behind my back. You want to talk? Claiming that the traditional underwear our guild's worn throughout time is vulgar. I'm officially calling off the alliance! What the hell is going on? Stop this nonsense at once! This is how it begins. Every conflict starts with a tiny spark. But simmering anger gives way to rage, then hate, and soon it doubles, then triples, then grows exponentially greater in power. Until you eventually lose all control and the whole world goes up in flames. We're here today not to fight, but to join hands. Oh, that's the first thing he said that makes sense. Ah! I'm sorry I hurt you, bearded guy. So oily. <laughs> Maybe we should come back later. There you are, Seiichi. Huh? So glad you're finally joining the fun. I'm not into that, okay? Hmm? Louise, what happened to you? If you want to know, I'll tell you. Oh, dear. <gasps> what do you think? Frankly, I'm a bit overwhelmed. This matter's grown bigger than both our nations. I agree. We must not allow the Great Devil Order and the Kaiser Empire to have their way. We can all protect this world together. Now how's that for a wholesome ending? Wimber Kingdom and the Demon Knuckleheads hugging it out. Well, uh, metaphorically, but uh, you get me. Anyway, there are more episodes to come, which means an evil hand is still at play. It looks like it's about that time. Record that next episode. Gimple the Doppelganger is one of the Great Devil Order's top four. This guy's got one heck of an awesome power. But now the Academy is in a crap ton of danger. As for what kind of danger, wish I could tell you, but you'll find out soon. Next time, Gimple the Doppelganger. Oh, the anticipation, even the preview has to be ready to pass out. Seiichi and friends snatched up Louise and left the Academy. Did you see her all wounded and stuff? Oof. So they get there and the Wimberg and Demon Kingdoms made an alliance. What? Like Wimmons or Dimbergs. Anyway, back at the Barbador Magic Academy, Aiden, with the bows on her head, was acting all kinds of suspicious. <laughs> it looks like it's about that time. Here's what we're gonna do. We're picking right up with what happened at Barbador after Seiichi and the girls left for Wimberg. Because why not? We do what we want. Goodbye, Mr. Seiichi. You take care. We'll hold down the fort. Okay, bye! Let's go get something to eat! When all you do is eat, I think that's called being a glutton. All right, we're done here. Let's get back to the classroom. I suppose man, she's right. I'm the boss Dude, man already, man. Still be <laughs> What's going on? You're being unusually low-key today. It's just Sei. I'm worried about him. Oh, come on. It's Seiichi. You know as well as anyone, he'll be fine. Thank you for your optimism. I do hope that you're right. Uh, hey, I think I'll head back to the classroom. But will everything really be alright now, Seiichi? I feel your presence will be missed at the Academy. Ganger. The man who would become one of the top four of the Great Devil Order. Believe it or not, in my youth, I was an upper-class noble. I led a privileged life and lacked for nothing. But my heart always felt empty, barren and unfulfilled. I was painfully aware that people didn't care about me as a person. They were just greedily intrigued by my status as a noble. Even my parents neglected me. I was nothing more to them than a tool to carry on their vaunted lineage. 
No one wanted to see the real me. This filled my soul with so much despair that I lost sight of who I was. Um, Aiden? What are you doing? You know you're in the men's room, right? Uh... One of Seiichi Hiragi's students. Perfect. What are you doing in here? I came by to destroy the two of you, in the hopes of bringing Sei some despair. Mr. Seiichi, why would you want to do that to him? Aiden, will you snap out of it? I'd rather snap you! <laughs> okay! You're pushing it now! Doppelganger! That's too freaking bright! Pretty cool party trick, huh? Dude, is this a dream or something? Yeah. What is this? Transformation magic? <laughs> Whatever, you'll still never be stronger than Ben! I wouldn't be so sure. Ooh Transformed again? Is that her thing or something? Uh, Brood? Are we awake or not? Oh, and here's a surprise. I can actually copy their specs. Watch! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Aiden, we get it. You're a secret super mage. First of all, I'm, I'm not Aiden. As for my true identity, I'm one of the Great Devil Order's top four. Gimple the Doppelganger. Well then, aren't you surprised? When Seiichi returns, I'll gut you like fish before his bulging eyes. <laughs> You're in for a treat, Teach. I'm about to dispatch everyone you care about swiftly to the afterlife. Now who's first? <sighs> that obnoxious, gluttonous donkey thing, Lulune. It'll tear him apart to lose someone he's shared so many memories with. I can hear his wails already. Hungry donkey, eat this! Seriously? Nobody comes between me and my precious food! So just back the hell up now! What? Food? Why would I want your food? I want to end your life! Huh? Like, for real? Yeah, for real. Hey, you know what? You kind of look like Aiden from my class! She cannot be this dumb! I'm sorry if I freaked you out earlier. It's okay. So, why did you sneak up on me from behind like that? Is she doing this on purpose? Maybe she's on to me. Oh, you. You wouldn't happen to be. Oh, oh no! <sighs> Hungry by any chance? <clears throat> oh, um, yeah. Guess our tummy clocks have synced up. <laughs> well, all right. Lucky! This is my favorite grub. It's called Bakudan. I guess being hungry always kind of makes you want to attack from behind, huh? No, not exactly. I mean, you are the one who tried to save my master. Take this as thanks. And besides, sometimes it's nice to share food instead of eating all alone. That's what friends are for, you know? Mm? Oh, really, I wouldn't do this for just anyone, but you're special. Oh, she called me a friend. Father? Mother? Quiet now. Let us enjoy this delicious meal. I really outdid myself. <laughs> it's so good. But I still don't understand why you're giving this to me. Huh? Well, like I said before, it's partly to say thank you for trying to save my master. <gasps> oh no! Did you get it stuck in your throat? No, I'm sorry. It's just my allergies. Anyway, food tastes better when you eat it with someone. Don't you think so? And now we're best friends! <laughs> Where? What? Who? Why? You dumbass! Hey! Are you late for something? No, it's just that I'm having paima! <laughs> I might have failed before, but this time I'll prevail. Oliga, get ready. I'm coming for you next. Hello, Oliga! Oh, hi, Glutton. 
As soon as she gets close enough, I'll snap her tiny neck. Mm. <laughs> she knows. Here, take this. We can share if you want. Can you hold it for us, though? Since you're so much taller than I am. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, look! It's a wannabe rich kid! We'll take that ugly umbrella! Stop! <laughs> Please give it back! Poor little Gempo! It must suck that your family was stripped of its fancy title! <laughs> you don't think you're better than us now, do you, Gempo? <laughs> but you'll get wetter if there are two of us. So why would you share with me? I'm fine. Look, you may be a gluttonous donkey, but you're a glutton who's kind and always shares her food. And besides, you're still one of my best buds. Is that bud isn't buddy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm such a dumbass! Where are you going? You'll catch a cold! That's not true! Idiots can't catch colds! I swear, I'll end every one of these jerks. That's her. Artoria the Calamity. This time I'll do it. I'll kill her off for sure. Doppelganger. I'll become the man she so adores. The one and only Seiichi Hiragi. See you kids in the second half. I want to be through the mountains by nightfall, so we gotta go soon. Sounds good. While you get everything ready, I'll go buy us some drinks. Okay, hurry back. <laughs> Who's that? <sighs> oh, hey there. You doing okay? <sighs> You're not hurt, are you? Uh, no, I was just... You could say I was reminded of the past. Oh, I see. And I'm all right. No need to worry, young lady. Saria! Mm -hmm. hmm. How's everything going? I got us those drinks. Wait, he seems really familiar. I found him. You're the great Seiichi from the Barbador Magic Academy, aren't you? How'd you know my name? Oh, come on. You're famous, aren't you? I hear you possess such impressive strength and prowess that the King of Wimberg relies on you. Well, I don't know about that. Aw, don't be so modest. She's right. From what I've heard, you're a real hero. So, what brings you out here? You alone? Well, yeah. I was in the mood for something new. So I started a journey to find fun. Wow, how exciting! We're actually finishing a journey of our own. Hold on, I have a quick question. Are you happy? Uh, He's uh, happier than ever! Right? Tell him! Yeah, I am. Please forgive my jealousy. Uh, you're what? <laughs> I'll see you around, okay? You're leaving already? Dry your eyes. You'll see me again. Count on it. Bye-bye! <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Hello there, Artoria! Uh, Seichi, what? You're supposed to be in Wimberg. Why are you here? Where's Saria? Don't you worry about her. I came back early for you. You're the only woman I have eyes for right now. Wait, I'm so confused. Are you serious? Yes, I'm dying to hold you. Now? Why? I don't understand. Kate, can we talk first? I... Ah! Silly girl. Ugh. For that. Hold on. Are you actually hurt? What is the matter with this guy? He's got a thing for the hot, crazy ones. Let me help you up. I was scared. 
I didn't mean to risk losing you like before. When you came back to life, it made me truly happy. Oh, that was my work, actually. You're welcome. Remember what I told you? How everyone calls me the Calamity? It never caused you to treat me differently. You accepted me for me. Thank you. That's why I want to accept everything about you, too. Accept me? It's like I'm invisible. No one cares how I feel. They don't see the real me. Why? Why? What do you mean? It's because I... Uh... You. I love you, obviously. <laughs> love? What? That's why I'm saying yes. You can. I'll allow you to touch me. Mm. Wait, I can't believe this crap. He can't be this good of a guy, can he? Well? Do something! I simply couldn't understand why such gorgeous women adored that idiot. I was perplexed. I needed an explanation, so I spent some time as him to find out. Everyone did so well on their last quiz, and it's all because of you. Oh, stop. <laughs> that can't be Thank true. Thank you so much. Hmm. This is quite a feast, isn't it? It's good to eat outdoors like this every once in a while. It keeps us grounded. I just love getting some fresh air. Fresh air? Oh, hey! This fresh air's delicious! No, Lulune, that's called a sandwich. Fresh air is just the outdoors. I knew that! <laughs> <laughs> Curses! My goal was to figure out what's so great about the Seiichi, but now I'm attached to all his friends. And I don't want to leave this school alive! We're all here, Principal. If you still have something you'd like to discuss with us, now would be the best time. Yes, actually, I do. I wanted to talk to you about the Great Devil Order. <clears throat> Is that what you meant when you said the day of the final battle was almost here? That's correct. We have some preparations to make. So first things first. What is that? It's huge! I'd say. It looks like a newly roused monster, awakened by the Great Devil's pulse. for you to say! <laughs> you did it! You're amazing, big brother! Thank you! We can always count on you, master! Well, that mm -hmm. clears up a lot of things for me. You know, I thought I sensed an evil presence at the Academy lately, but I couldn't find it. In fact, I didn't recognize it until this moment. Right under our noses. This man is an assassin sent by the Great Devil Order. Tell him, Big Brother. Tell him that it just isn't true. Of course it isn't. No need to... Hold it right there, Buster! Wait, Kat and Kanazuki, why are you here? You might be able to deceive their eyes, but nothing flies by these nose hairs. And that man... Smells too fresh to be Seiji! What are you saying? Wait, that's not Master? How do you know? And do you have proof of that? I have the evidence right here. <laughs> that's Irene? The person you spoke to several days ago wasn't actually Irene. I discovered the real one tucked away in the Academy's chicken coop. Oh man, I owe you big time for pulling me out of that. I don't know how it happened, but when I woke up, I was surrounded by a bunch of chickens. Turns out they're really nice. You might be able to mimic Seiichi's skills and appearance, but there's no way you could recreate his indescribably offensive B.O. Is that true? If so, then who in the world are you? Uh-oh. Guess the cat's out of the bag now! Uh, right, light! I'm 
known as one of the Great Devil Order's top four. Name's Gimple the Doppelganger. I knew that you belonged to the Order, but top four? You had me pegged, old man. I used the chaos of Seishi's fight with the Apostles to slip in. Nobody noticed me swap places with Chicken Girl. But why would you do that? Because, Lovely Lips, the goal was to throw him into a downward spiral of despair. How depressing it would be to watch one's friends die. I had to find some way to capture you. You're a big mini-head! At least that was the plan, till I became him and realized something. <gasps> that I'd be hurting more than Seiichi. I've never been loved by anyone in my life. That's why I never cared if the people I knew died. But now I understand. Losing the most important people in one's life is a pain unlike any other wound or loss. Which is why I couldn't help saving you just now. I admit, I'm an idiot. Well, thank you. Oh. I know what I want. I want real love. Someone like him who'll accept me as I am. Someone who'll care for me. If nothing else, I want to make others feel that way. Even though I'll never measure up to him. Well, later, alligator. Just do it. No excuses. I smell the potential in you. Wow, that's a weird flex. But thank you for the nose tips. And that's it? We just watch him leave? Gimple has advanced magical abilities. It would be a trivial matter for him to kill all of us if that's what he wanted to do. And yet he didn't do it. I want to believe him. That evil can become good. That there's hope for those who've made mistakes along the way. I want to believe in redemption without looking like a fool. That was fun. But what am I going to do now? <laughs> Look who it is. Perfect timing. I'm out. I've decided to leave the Order. I'm done with despair and devils. And revenge. From now on, I'm going to focus on love. Finding someone who will love me. Yes, he was. What's the matter? It's just... I think I may have seen him somewhere in the past. Our battle against the Great Devil Order is nigh, so raise your mug! Let's drink to Team Spirit! Yeah! Yeah! I can't oh, wait to your success, yeah. mug! <laughs> <laughs> I cannot wait to get this operation started. A murderer's on the loose in that crazy guild! The victim is the man called Pacifier! Oh, that guy! Guzzle and the others set out to solve the mystery. Wait, am I in the next episode at all? Next time, Vitor the Resonance, aka a sausage fest the pervy dude showing off! Our battle against the Great Devil Order is nigh! So raise your mug! Let's drink to Team Spirit! I cannot wait to get this operation started. Rinsed with protein! Today is a day to drink about, my friends! So lift those glasses and drink until you collapse on the floor! Protein enriched with protein is just protein, dummy. I know if that. I were to take the life of this nation's dear King Rons, that would elicit despair that I could gather for the Great Devil's resurrection. What am I thinking? That wouldn't work. It's pointless. Such a lazy approach. I should be ashamed. It's getting harder and harder to restrain myself. <sighs> what a beautiful night sky. I know what this moment needs.
we proudly present the murder of Pacifier Man. Somebody killed him! <gasps> Wait just a moment. I'm detecting a pulse. He's still alive. I'll never forgive them! They'll pay for killing this pervy weird side character! I told you he's still alive! Wait a second. Maybe this is part of the Great Devil Order's attack. I shall unmask the culprit behind this crime. I swear by my muscles I will! You sure that's your line? Well, Shall we get going? Well, we'll start our investigation right away. Well now, do my muscles deceive me? That detective ensemble, so cute. You're getting into this, aren't you? Well, sure. It's called dressing for the occasion. Also, you are going to need your energy. Eat this. No, you didn't. A protein shake it on bun? Something tells me he thinks he's preparing for a stakeout. These two go so well together, it's deadly. What a considerate gentleman you are, Vitor! Hmm. hmm. I do say, this can't be the work of the Great Devil Order after all. What brought you to that premature conclusion? No, no, this is all wrong! We're supposed to go over the evidence at the crime scene first. Ha! Hey, Vitor, what say you about this suspicious bottle? May I take a look at that? Uh, uh... Mm -hmm. It's still lukewarm. That means the estimated time of death is sometime between now and I would estimate some point last night. I think I get what you're saying. No, you don't. Oh. Nothing he says tells us anything. Uh, <sighs> Vitor, look! I spy with my little eye a suspicious and nutritious unzipped fly. What do you make of that? I'd say it's most perplexing. Here's what I say! If we were to think in terms of muscles, mm. this incident is no less tragic than a sphincter being loose and inactive. What? That's a good anal, Mrs. <laughs> you understand me so well, my good butt E. Anyone else confused about this scene besides me? Mm. 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 Biceps. It's hard to find any leads around here. I was thinking we should take a short break anyway. Right! Let's go drink about it! Oh! What? I forgot about my muscle food! Give me that muscle food! Don't you dare! Food. That's evidence, you creepy idiot! Oh, no. no! Not macho! You muscle break! Oh, thank you! Hm. Confess! <sighs> Why would you interrogate your ally? I suppose there's no easy way to break this to you, but those closest to the victim are always the top suspects. Try to understand. He just said what I was gonna say, so please forgive us. I'm innocent, I tell you! Watch! I'll swear on my tiny white Guys! What a shockingly pure white! I guess that means he's purely innocent, right? Not quite. We still don't have proof! Angelic white. It's the softest, warmest light I've ever encountered. Makes my soul feel so fresh and so clean. Such a feral blend of cotton and polyester. And yet, his innocence is as clear as day. So we're done with him! Next! What a stupid plot line. Uh -oh. I didn't do anything! Oh? What's that blue stuff? A substance called luminol. If this iron ball was used as the murder weapon, any blood on it will glow blue. All it takes is the smallest trace. Oh, neat! Can I take a look? I've seen detectives use it before! Ooh. Oh! What the heck? I did not use my boomerang as a murder weapon, so why is it going blue like that? I'm gonna need you to calm down. It must mean the true culprit is right here under our noses! Because I'm the culprit! Because I'm the culprit! Because I'm the culprit! <laughs> Your boomerang was blue to begin with. What's more, it's quite obvious to me you are not the culprit. Really? Thank you. You're my friend. <laughs> and yet, their silly investigation continues. <laughs> well, yeah, we deserve screen time too.
Rest in peace, pervy friend. I told you already! He's not dead, you idiot! Huh? <laughs> oh! He's turned into a zombie?! <sighs> I had such a great nap! Oh, no way! It's you! It's really you! I'm so happy you're alive! Don't skip over the fact that you buried him alive! Now there's a plot twist. Huh? What's the matter? Why is everyone sad? What happened? Last night, I mean. Actually, funny story. <sighs> what a beautiful night sky. I know what this moment means. <laughs> what a clumsy little baby! Silly boy! Oh. To think I almost drank to that! And that's a wrap! At least for today! We've solved the mystery and the case is closed! Yay! <laughs> I could use a bath right now! Let's all get naked and take one together! Yeah. Hmm. Listen, friend. Hmm? You're the reason we solved this so quickly. I appreciate you. It's an honor to have been of service. Sincerely. <laughs> All right, let's go hit that path! Something doesn't make sense. I do say, this can't be the work of the Great Devil Order after all. How was he able to rule out the Great Devil Order so quickly? <laughs> when I got back, I told everyone that the Demon Lord Army and the Wimberg Kingdom had successfully forged an alliance. And that they should prepare to fight the Great Devil Order, just in case it came down to that. It might. We can never be sure. You should know how to protect yourselves. I don't want you to be caught unprepared. Got it? You must keep this academy safe. Right! Everyone's supposed to be meeting up at the bath, isn't that right? Yes, but I thought I'd work up a little sweat beforehand. How very strange, and you're still going the wrong way. Indeed, but that's fine. Does that mean you won't be joining us? <sighs> I've denied my thirst for carnage as long as I possibly can. My desperate desire to beat you, to bring your life to an end. I'm dying to defeat a strong warrior. Everything's starting to make sense now. You knew I was onto you from just a glance. I'm fairly certain I know the answer already. Tell me, who are you really? A priest of the Great Devil Order. They call me Vitor the Resonance. I'm here to take your life for a good cause. Your death shall be a requiem for my soul. <laughs> Do me a favor and make it at least a little challenging. <laughs> Wish. <sighs> Unfortunately, you just don't have what it takes, do you? I'm grateful for our time together, as brief as it was. I wish you a fond farewell, sweet Harris. What do you think you're doing, punk? So good to see you. Eris and I were just getting in a little sparring practice. Yeah, right. Tell me the truth. <sighs> you got me. And here I thought you were just a beefy bimbro. But your intuition is surprisingly sharp. But Vitor, you're our friend. Your friend? Who, me? 
<laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You can't possibly mean that. You don't hear me throwing around such terms willy-nilly whilst referring to you. Fighting me would be useless. I have a talent for killing those with brute strength. As they lose their will to fight, I kill them while they're distracted by their despair. And that's all there is to it. <laughs> Nothing more. <laughs> Oh, there you are. You okay? I'm a little injured, but it's not that bad. It's just... Just what? It was all so humiliating. Especially for a sadist. Hmm. Then leave the rest to me. Their friend, I've come to fight you without any mercy. Get ready! <laughs> ah, yes, for so long I've lived an unfulfilling life, one that left me hollow. Because I've always possessed such tremendous power, I've been faced with the dilemma of never having an opponent I could go all out against. But now, I've finally found one! This is the first worthy opponent I've ever fought! And it's the first time I've felt such fervor! Here comes the first one! You are so much fun, Gussel! If that's the best you can do, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> I know I'm not the only one who feels this. This passion being exchanged through our muscles. It's the ultimate exaltation. <laughs> is that what this is? This feeling reverberating through my brain? Just let yourself go, Vitor. Be free! I have to admit I'm grateful to you. It's because of you that I'm able to wield my true power. Oh. <laughs> of your muscles! My ability is called Resonance. It's a power that allows me to immediately return every one of your attacks twofold. Really? Well, that is some impressive muscle action you've been hiding. I don't care about the Great Devil anymore. All I want is... There's only one thing I want. To, to beat you! you completely, completely! With, with my, my full power. power! That's what you, you want, want too, isn't it? it? Quit copying me! Every muscle in my body is screaming! Justice! My justice rebound! <laughs> is that it? Is that your resonance? This is wonderful. So wonderful. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. Let's keep going. Oh, come on. That can't possibly be all you've got for me, can it? Stand up. Have your muscles failed you? You have crossed the line. My muscles are simply resting to prepare for fun times ahead. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Let's go. Eat dirt before the resonance! Is that all you got? I'm just getting started. I don't believe it. 
You should already be well past your limit, Gussel. You poor man. I can practically hear your muscles weeping. You've honed them to a razor's edge, but it will mean nothing in the end. <laughs> because you've done so only in the vain pursuit of your own strength. <sighs> Can't you hear them? Your muscles begging to be used for a noble cause. What the heck is going on? My arm is losing its mind. <sighs> Why is my leg shaking like that? I don't understand. What do those images mean? Consider this next punch a symbol of grief felt by both me and your own unfortunate muscles. This is where it ends, Vitor! The first time in my life, I actually feel like I've lost. But oddly enough, I wouldn't describe it as a feeling that I regret. <laughs> Gussel, my friend, if the stars align and we meet again, I would be grateful. Well, well. Hello there, Vitor. How rare it is to see you so beaten up and defeated. Judas, I'm sure the answer is no. But I'll still ask. You didn't happen to lose a battle you fought recently, did you? I did. I lost a battle for the first time in my life. I never thought the day would come when I would find someone stronger than me. Oh my. That said, I also feel like I'm actually alive for the first time in my life. How interesting. It was surprising to discover that the taste of defeat is so delectable. I'm glad to hear that. I think it's very healthy for you to recognize you were always just a big fish in a tiny pond. I agree. Guess it's back to square one again. But next time, I'm winning. You sound confident. Well... For your sake, let's hope there's a next time. What? <laughs> the power I have is called ubiquity. I can teleport. I can take a trip to any dimension across all space and time. This is punishment for your blasphemy! You said you didn't care! You shunned the great devil! Now, Vitor, please do rest in peace. Know that with your death, you'll bring us closer to the great devil's resurrection. Isn't anything working? What's wrong with me? The truth behind the fruit of evolution is finally revealed. Along with Destra's fierce past, the story approaches its final battle. Next time, Destra the Absolute Death. Destra, what are you doing?
They should be destroyed. I summoned you all here for one important reason. Seiichi, it's time to reveal my true motivation for inviting you to this academy. I anticipated the battles with the Great Devil Order long before you arrived. What do you mean by that? Those who take the fruit of evolution inside themselves will cross paths with the Great Devil. Everyone. In this case, I'm talking about you, Seiichi. <sighs> you knew this whole time? Do you have any idea who I am in this story? The sweet and creepy old man! Listen to weird stuff! Well, I guess I should have been more specific. Please, not now. I don't get it. What does the fruit of evolution have to do with the Great Devil? To understand that, we must first take a moment to discuss the legend of creation. Huh? Get comfy. It all began in ancient times when the gods were still creating this world. One day, one of the gods decided they should reign supreme and revolted against the other gods. This conflict was recorded as the most severe of all time. Much of the land was destroyed. It continued until the rebel god was finally sealed away within this world. The now confined gods stewed in anger and hatred as they cursed the world outside. The negative emotion became so intense that eventually it took form. A solid crystallization of animosity manifested and bared fruit. The fruit of evolution. This new fruit flourished with blinding speed, seeking to cover our entire world. Once the other gods discovered what was happening, they used their powers to keep it from spreading. And now it's considered a legendary item. <sighs> Which means the god who revolted is... the Great Devil. <sighs> Those who consume the maximum amount of the legendary fruit become the target of this malicious monster. It hungers for the taste of despair that comes from fruit born of hatred. Um, Master, do you remember how many of those hatred fruits you've eaten? Let's see. I'd say about ten. Is that a lot? It's the maximum. <laughs> No need to fear. It's my duty as the Holy Mage to provide protection and security. That's the reason I summoned you to the Academy. You really shouldn't have. No need to thank me. I'd much prefer if everyone would pet me on the head, please! You fool! I love this power! Now, about the Great Devil Order Priest, Destra. There's no easy way to begin this confession, but I'm the one who ultimately created him. It was quite a long time ago. He was studying right here at the Barbador Magic Academy. I took a special interest in his gift. Riddle, what has four legs and can't walk? Plenty of food, but never eats. Hint? You might own one! The answer is... a table! Riddle, you always see them in the morning, but hardly ever at a funeral. Hint, the mouth is open, but it can't scream! The answer is a morning glory! Here's the next one. If more spice is spicy, and more fruit is fruity, what is a spicy fruit? Hint, it's like curry. Hey there, do you happen to know where your parents are? Are you ready for the next one? Oh, that hurt. Shut up! I don't care! I'll die happy cursing the wicked gods! So just stop! It's all a bunch of lies! The gods don't want happiness! They robbed us! And they tortured us! And then lied about it! I'll kill every one of them! And I'll destroy this world too! I'll put a curse on those bastards! And then I'll kill them! I hate this world and I'll see it all destroyed! So help me, I will! I don't care. I know it's wrong. I'll curse them till I die. I want my mom. Please, someone bring me my mommy. My name is Barnabas Averett. I'm an instructor at Barbador Magic Academy. If you are willing, I believe I can help you. 
Unfortunately, Destra lost his entire family in the last war, and he lives a life of loneliness. Hey, I took him into custody that? while he was down and hurting. I felt it would do him well to enroll in the academy. I'd like you to welcome our new student, Destra, into the program. Please do your best to be kind to him. Mm. Excuse me, coming through! Uh. <clears throat> I'm sorry I'm so late! <sighs> Libera, that's the twelfth time this month. As an assistant instructor, you should be setting an example for our... Huh? Hey, you! I didn't realize you were joining our class today. Um, yes. Thank you for having me. Libera had a gift for making the students feel loved and nurtured. She was indispensable to the Academy. Like the rest of us, Destra adored her deeply. Wake up! No sleeping in class! Uh... Remember, when you're producing ice spears, you must focus. You work so hard! I'm proud of you! <laughs> a present, huh? Well, um, yeah. That's great! Uh? Let me guess, there's a girl who's caught your eye, right? Kinda, yeah. B but it's not what you think. <laughs> Cause if it was, and you want to buy a present for a girl you like, I'd say flowers are best. Can, can you tell me what kind of flowers you would like? Oh, sure. If it were me, look out there. Those ones. Mm -hmm. They're called anemone. I love the purple petals. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Also, they mean, I believe in you. <laughs> Excuse me? Miss Libera? Huh? Oh, hello, Destra. How can I help you? Here. Hmm? Today is your birthday, right? It is, but what's this? A present? Mm hmm. Anemone? Well, you said you liked them, so... <laughs> what do you think? Does it look good? Uh, yes, it does! Thank you, Destra. It's very sweet. What a kind sentiment. I'll wear it and think of you. And then one day, tragedy struck within our world. Emergency! Uh. Did we do anything to deserve this? What is going on? Go hide in the tower! You'll be safe! Yes, uh. ma'am! <laughs> There's no wind! Hurry! Oh, Thank you, Destra. 
It's not true. Please, not her. Second time, you will continue to experience despair that drives you to death over and over forever. <sighs> the world has denied and rejected you, and yes, the gods have ordained it. The gods who created the world have ordained it especially for you. I'll curse them, I'll kill the gods and destroy their world. Then you need only wish for it. Wish for the power to make everything you touch feel despair. This will put an end to their miserable souls. <laughs> In a way, what happened was my fault for failing to protect Libera that day. If only I'd managed to stop him. Destra, sir. I believe it's time. I'm aware. But of course you are. a while, hasn't it, Barnabas? No, it can't be. Look at that. I told you we'd meet again, Seiichi Hiragi. Why <laughs> can't I move? What is he doing to us? <laughs> He's restricted our movement. <laughs> I think it's time to go, don't you? Don't you dare! Where exactly are you planning to take him, Destra? That is none of your business. And that's where you're wrong! No! Barnabas! How disappointing. I wonder how poor Miss Libera would feel about this, about the pain you're inflicting. Don't you say that! You don't have a say in this, old man! Stop that immediately! Put him down or you'll regret it! Open your eyes, Gethra. Please, come back to us! I despise seeing such stubbornness in others. Then you should bear us alongside me, and let me be the last, the last one you'll ever kill! Wait, no! There's no way. Thanks. I've been working on my skills. Destra! It's time. Your wish is my command. Where am I? A world made through the harboring of negative emotions. 
It's where the legendary Great Devil is sealed. You don't want to do this. Oh my gosh! Huh? Look at this place, Angie! Saria? They've got floating rocks here! We'll be featuring her as a special guest. I think she's perfect for the ultimate event that's about to start. Huh? Stay back, Saria. What is it you're trying to accomplish here? Well, isn't it obvious? I'm a priest of the Great Devil Order. I desire his resurrection. How are we involved in that plan? Oh, come on, Seiichi. Take a wild guess. <laughs> Does that mean you're not gonna play? Here, I'll give you a hint. The Great Devil gave me the power of absolute death, which means I can taint the soul of all living things, kill them, and keep them from reincarnating. In other words, when they're done, they're done. They won't be reborn, ever. So, Barnabas... Bye-bye for all eternity. <laughs> <laughs> the Great Devil has been wonderful to me. He gave me the best second life. Don't believe that crazy old man. The Great Devil turned me from one who was robbed to the robber in control. Also, watching those who deserve it drown in fear and anguish is pure joy. Soon, the Great Devil will be revived. That's gonna be so much fun, I can't wait! You're nuts, you know that? But here's the thing. He hasn't resurrected yet, and I'm getting bored. Doing things little by little just isn't in my nature, you know? And that's why I needed you. I'm so glad you ate the fruit of evolution. So, you're planning to use my negative energy then? Well, well so close, but not close enough. He guessed it right, but he's still wrong? I'm going to resurrect the Great Devil. But only so I can kill him completely! That doesn't make any sense, Destra. Kill him? How? What for? On that day, in that moment, I made my decision! I'm going to destroy the world that makes me suffer! I'll kill all the gods who created this place. I'll destroy my memories and wipe out my very existence! I want deicide! That's become my ultimate goal! I'll kill the great devil! But to resurrect him first, I'll need your despair. <laughs> oh, how I worship you! Yes, the time has arrived. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Destra, why do you have to pull this crap now? Is that really the extent of your strength? Poor baby. Avoid my attack. I'm bored with this, so we're done here. Now, bye bye. Hey, Seiichi, what do you think lies beyond evolution? I would love for you to show me. Next time, the true fruit of evolution. Bye bye, Seiji Hiragi. It's time, Destra. For the sake of the great devil and in his name. <laughs> You will die. I'm bored with this, so we're done here. Now bye bye. Don't you dare touch my baby! Oh, 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 oh.
Not bad at all. can all agree. Saria is truly hideous as a gorilla. <sighs> bye bye. How does it feel knowing that her death was your fault? That she died because you were powerless to stop it? A heartfelt gift from me to you, ultimate despair. Now then, hurry up and awaken. I'm waiting. I gave you a present, so where's mine, Seiichi? Here it comes! It won't be long now. You're almost there. That's it. Just like that. I'll use you as fodder. For the Great Devil's Return! <laughs> the time has come... for your resurrection! Care what happens anymore. Oh, see, you're evolving to be like the great devil himself. Let it all go. Let everything become nothing. Where am I? 
am I? Oh, it's my life in another world. A life where I had it made. Flashing before my eyes. I know what that means. I'm dying. Shouldn't be much longer now. It's pretty crazy, looking back at it like this. Almost from the moment I got here, everything's gone my way. In this world, I truly was OP. But then, I had that dream. That's when things started to unravel. That's not where it went wrong, though, is it? What are you talking about? Please, you remember. My old self? My old life. <laughs> That's your true form, not the one you wear now. What happened here in this world was a lie. It was fake, all of it. There's a girl who caught your eye. <laughs> was fake. You didn't do anything to deserve it, and yet you were made to suffer so much. I know that pain well. One day, in the blink of an eye, everything was gone. Come on, be honest. You want the same thing that I do, don't you? Want what? To destroy it. The world that brought such pain and made a mockery of your dreams. To destroy the world. That hurt me. That's what I mean to accomplish. But I'm happy to share. We can destroy it together. And why shouldn't we? We're the same after all. The same? That's right. We're the same. <laughs> hey, Saichi. That voice. Isn't it so great? Our love is evolving. Uh, no, Destra. Uh? The truth is... I'm not like you. I don't feel the way you do. How can you say that? This may sound strange, but... I think... Being bullied like that, knowing that pain, it's what taught me the value of kindness. What? That makes no sense! Thank you, Seiichi. Thanks for everything, Sei. <sighs> what I went through shaped how I see others. I could understand their suffering because I'd experienced it myself. Thank you, Seiichi. Thanks so much, Master. You're the best! Thank you, Big Brother. I've heard enough. Pain taught me empathy. Thank you. It allowed me to connect with everyone I Thank met, you. no matter how different we were. Thank you. 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 Thanks so much, Seiichi. Stop talking! Stop it! Stop it! <sighs> well, are you done? I accept pain because without it. Seiichi, thank you. Even though I'm a gorilla, you chose me to be your wife. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I... <laughs> Your awesome status isn't what got you this far, you know. The kindness you always show other people, that's your real strength. Yours too. Go on, you can do this. I have to try, and I promise, I'll give it all I've got. I know, because you're you, Seiichi. Here we go. What? Ah! 
It's time you learned the truth! <gasps> About love. Awaken to love. Now commencing true evolution. Ridiculous. Can the writer please choose a plot? Evolution of love. Wait, who are you? I'm the true Seiichi. All statuses are now registered as love. Love? What does that mean? True how? What were you before? What's that? Uh, oh. So, Destra. This is our final match. Let's go! Swing your scythe! Take my head off, I dare you! Now I don't want to use it. Absolute death will do fine. No! How did you... More love! Even more love! Love! Love will always win! Something's wrong! Why isn't it Absolute working? Absolute death has been absorbed. The ultimate skill, Say You Love Me in This Loveless Age 2023, has been acquired. Die, Say Die! This doesn't make any sense. We were the same. You should have tasted the bitter despair that I did. You should have felt my rage. But you don't get it at all, do you? And now you're just going to leave me alone again, like I was before. Just when I thought I finally found someone who understood. How? How did you do it? Turn out this way. Why are you so, so kind, so caring to everyone, including me? Even when... even when I wanted to, I... You still can. It's not too late to change. Uh... You're kind, deep down inside. I know this. Because you and I are the same. You know it too. I can change? After all the awful things I've done? Of course. If that's what you want. I think I do. Great. Well, that's all it takes. <laughs> Thanks, Seiji. I'm ready now. Uh no! Why? Hold on. Don't die. Activating. True get better. What's happening? 
Please stay! Thank you again. For everything. You can't go! <sighs> Hi, Destra. It's her. I'm coming, Miss Libera. We'll be together soon. Destra! You can't die! really gone. Well done. I'm proud of you, Seiichi. <laughs> You're alive. I sure am. <laughs> I wanted to say, I'm so grateful to you. You've been the best husband in the world. Sorry, uh... <laughs> They're waiting for us. Now let's head home. Mm. Hey, I can walk! Stop! Do you have any idea how embarrassing this is? I don't care, you're worn out. You need to learn when to rest. You know, even as a gorilla, you treat me right. Don't forget it. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm back. We're both back! It's Seiichi and Soria! I'm glad you made it home safe! Thank goodness you're okay! Mm. I'm sorry if I made you worry. It was tough, but also a lot of fun! Master, I was so worried I'd never see you again! Will you please take me with you next time? We should all stay together from now on. Promise me? Yes, I promise, Ar. Seiichi. What is it? Where is Destra? <sighs> I'm sorry. I see. But there's nothing to apologize for. Um. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Life goes on, and so do I. Looks good! It smells no, amazing! It's so ready for this challenge! challenge. <laughs> Here, open wide! Uh, That's what I was gonna do! Not fair! Uh, Here, take a bite of this! Uh, hey, <laughs> you let this donkey! Jeez, what made you think that was for you? It's fine, we have plenty of food! He's hungry, greedy guy! Thankfully, I get to have them with me. <laughs> hey, Seiichi? Yeah? Is our love gonna end? Or will it keep evolving? Cause I hope it can last forever. I think it will. <laughs> I'm looking forward to a long life with all of them, in this world that I love. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh -huh. Mwah! <laughs>